Jackson. Capella clears. Get in the lane and get the defense to commit. You get guys on the perimeter wide open. In and out for Sadiq Bay. It sends Josh Jackson to the line. Bob, you know the, the big screens are not really talked about enough. Came out of Kansas, played just one year of college basketball, went to Phoenix. Catch and shoot for Grant. That's a three. Looking to shave a little more off of a once 14 point Atlanta lead. Grant. Oh, good D by Capella. Bogey had it blocked. Pistons. Hayes leaves it. Sadiq Bay going up. Nothing there. Capella the rebound. Brings this one up. Waits for the Capella screen. Takes it all the way in on Plumley. Rebound Capella, nothing. He's been putting up silly numbers to start this season. Durant long strides, comes up short, cleared by Capella. That's come the other way. Durant, the drive, bank shot, no. Rebound cleared by Capella. Quick jack. Irving can't find his range. Nobody underneath to rebound for the Nets. And they're doing a good job of mixing up some of their pick and rolls, getting to the basket along with those three-point looks. Shake and bake from Levert again comes up short. Continued focus. you got to make sure that you're closing out and not giving a lot of airspace because these shooters are going to put it up and they're going to do so quickly. Levert in and out. Can't buy one. Irving clears it. Joe Harris too strong on a three. Rebounded by Capella. Unless he misses that shot, it's hard to stop. Young creates a little bit of space for himself, but Jordan was there defensively. Just surveying the floor and just being able to look, 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 and then shoot. Yeah, you, can't, like, you yeah. can't let him sit back no. and, and, and kind of survey the defense and see if he might come and help and take that kind of shot. Harris gets it ahead for Irving. A bounce, Lawawu Cabarro fires, rims out, Jordan got a piece. That's her down by five. Harris for two. Rebounded by the Hawks, Capella. Third team foul, Jared Allen in. And Allen a factor defensively, ball gets knocked around volleyball style, and the Hawks control. Steve Nash talked about the idea of gang rebounding to see improvement in that area for this team. Kyrie Irving against Young. The curl, the fade, no good. Made a living off of that on Wednesday night. And the cut rewarded by Young. Irving for three. Got off to the slow start the other night, came alive. They got shooters everywhere other than Capella. Atlanta, three of three from three-point territory. Durant can't answer. Rebound, Irving taps it over. Lawawu Cabarro. Came up short. The Nets trail by five. Jumper from Reddish is short. Rebounded. Capella cleans it up with the offhand. Too strong. Durant the offensive rebound. Lawawu Cabarro keeps on firing, but he can't buy one. 0 of 4 from the field. We heard Kevin Durant talk about it after the last game. Uh, you can't overhelp. You need to make sure that you're ready to help. Lavert bounces off the rim. Ahead for Bogdanovich. Shamit on an island. Bogdanovich to the corner. That won't go for Goodwin. Ball popped in the air, and Capella just playing volleyball with himself. Just a touch off. Jeff Green, one out of two. Atlanta puts up points in a hurry, and they're going to keep scoring. And so if you're not getting stops, you can't just assume you're going to be able to get it all back quickly. Allen backs off as part of the scouting report. Shot clock is down to two. Goodwin has to throw it up, and it rims out. Capella taps the ball to himself. Looking for some answers. Levert protects the ball, probes, and kicks. Shamit, too strong. Rebound, Allen trying to get a piece of it, but Capella controls. Cleveland was due to be here. But that was right after the league shut things down back in mid-March. Young 
tipped up and in That's an fine. active Clint Capella. Trey finds Cam. Spins short. Capella keeps it alive. Cam crashing. He saves it. That's a lot of different ways to score. Well, if you haven't seen the Hawks in the last few years mix their defense, their offense up like they've done in these games. So the Hawks are doing a nice job. This guy's unbelievable. Nance. Nance very unsure about that shot. Nance. Again, they're going to let them take that those kind of shots. Sexton. Well, that's a tough runner. Rebounded by Clint. Here come the Hawks. And I think three of them have been offensive fouls. Here's Trey moving in. Off the double team. Kevin Herter misses, but guess who's there? And one for Clint Capella. Darius Garland misses. Out of bounds. Nobody saw it. Working that college pick and roll. Now one on one against Nance. Capella. And one. I mean, yeah, and it's hard because I wear my glasses up here, so you know, pretty noticeable. Hawks by 10. Here's Trey. Tees up John for a corner three. Capella, look at him go on the, again on the offensive glass. Reddish. And that's against Drummond. Has 13 boards tonight. Follow won't go. Make it 14 rebounds for Clint. Sexton corkscrews, finds Nance to the corner and Exum. Three seconds, two to shoot. Exum the heave. No. Rebound Capella. When Camp can get them kind of shots close in, he'll take that in any day. A quick drive, and there's Mitchell Robinson, but he laid it off the rim. No good. Trey got to the foul line only four times in the Cleveland defeat. He's number two in the league in free throws attempted per game behind James Harden of Houston. Robinson, good challenge there. He did pick up that first foul, and we know, Nick, that he is foul prone. 20 to 14. R.J. Barrett wanted the ball, got it, but missed the three. Clint wheels in. Good fake on Robinson. Keeps it alive with the left hand. Six of those for the home team. R.J. Barrett turns and misses. We hit. Bogdanovich defending. Up to Bullock. He misses. We just found out the Knicks are down a big tonight. Nerland's Noel will not play with a sprained ankle. Julius missing. It kind of freezes the defense. Back to a seven-point lead. R.J. Barrett short with the three. Knicks tonight, one of nine from distance. Barrett missing. Capella giving to Trey, and the Hawks look in transition one more time. It's been the story of his season. Rivers, a three. That was for the lead. The former Celtic played collegiately at Louisville. Rozier's had some big nights against the Hawks in years past. Throws this one up and off. It's a slow start for both sides here, even though Charlotte has made a shot. Bismack was right in the lane. <laughs> he didn't know quite what to do. No, he didn't. The amount of time they've led in games, 77% of the time in seven games, haven't scored yet tonight, and the Hornets miss a layup. Oh, it was blocked. Late challenge there by Washington. Ball tees up. Hayward missed it. Bob, that is good ball movement. You get a good shot. Biz going in. Moves into the paint. Kicks to the corner. Bridges. Uh, to me, that's not a good shot. And that's the shot the Hawks want him to take. Bump and run with Hunter up the wing. 
Gordon goes cross court, deflected to the corner, and Graham, he misses. Uh, what a miscue there. That could have ended up. Graham hangs and hits. Even getting in close hasn't helped his shot. Here's Terry Rozier on the bounce to Biz. Shot clock's down to five. Hayward had a monster first half. Washington puts up and misses the three. And Capella controls the rebound. Graham kept alive by Biombo, but controlled by Capella. Capella has it blocked. This one up for grabs. Tipped by Capella. Tipped. Just keeps going after it and lays it in. Boy, you'd love to see this thing get into single digits going to the fourth. LaMelo, tough shot. Bad shot, but that's good defense. But this Charlotte team is a much better defensive team than we've seen them in the past. Another tough shot there by Charlotte. Brandon Goodwin, cross court to Bogey. Defense collapses, turn around, in and out, Capella, and a foul. Good one. Whips it to Cam. Stumbles in, but does complete the pass. Hunter. Rebound Capella. Herder. Here's Goodwin. Back to Kevin. 4-3. Nope. Capella, though, another offensive rebound. Hawks running. Kevin Herder's got a hot hand. Hunter on the drive. DeAndre off the glass, tipped in by Clint Capella, and a timeout for Charlotte. LaMelo ball, hooks it back to Hayward, bounce to the corner. Martin hoisting, missing, and Capella one-hands the rebound. Again. Devontae to trigger the inbound. Fade away. Everything but down for Hayward. So nothing but threes for both sides. Two for Atlanta, one for your Hornets. Biz, jump hook on the baseline. Biz, rebound of that ball, throw it out, occupy the eyes of the defense, and quickly back in. First miss of the ball game for Atlanta. It's all in the Cayman Island. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not bad. Three-point game. Trey Young, 0 for 2 so far today. Got an offensive rebound. Atlanta playing without Trey Young to begin the second quarter. Skip pass to Hill. Capella, offensive rebound. One out of two for Devontae. Hunter. And that little anticipated the whistle. That's why Biz was able to swat that one away. Bad pass picked up by Rozier. How high does he get up? Terry Rozier slices inside off the window too high. Shot clock's at five. Hunter probing. Gonna have to do something. Offensive rebound, Capella. Hayward. Hornets lead is six. High water mark has been 11. Rogier. Ball. He's a, I think, an outstanding rebounder and passer. He's he's extraordinary. One free throw here for Caleb Martin. He misses the opportunity at the three point. He's their best offensive player. Here's what he is. Four seconds, three. Hayward with a spinorama. Just got it off his fingertips in time, but no good. Capella. Particularly not when the second game you're playing against the team that's been waiting in the city where you're getting ready to play the night before. Joining Philadelphia after a couple of trades this summer, and B dribbles it off his leg, picked up by Maxi. He'll float and miss. Rebound Capella. Hawks running with numbers. Maxi, not a very good shot there. Trey going up. 20-year-old uh, rookie out of Kentucky. From Dallas, Texas, Embiid's three. See, the Hawks are packing the lanes in. They're making the Sixers play on the perimeter. Green will drive and miss. Collins. Capella. Solomon Hill. Or make him pick up the ball. He's going to hurt you. 
Sixers going to Embiid exclusively when he's on the floor. Dwight couldn't control it. But you know the defense has picked up again. Their defense was very slow. Some not very good opportunities there for the Hawks. But now they back on track. Joel Embiid, Joel Embiid was unstoppable in that first half. Hoisting and missing is Mike Scott. They don't step up on him. If you don't step up on Trey, he's going to shoot that little float or get down and throw a lob. Maxi, impossible angle as he was behind the backboard. Mike Scott. Run out rebound for Trey. Deep three. That was a heat check there by Mr. Young. <laughs> Cam. Good straight up and down D by Dwight. Follow won't go for Capella. Capella there to clean it up and here's Donovan behind the back pass. Great ball movement early T by Utah. Bogey gives it up. Donovan catch and shoot three out front. The bounce comes off to Capella. Donovan the other way. A little stagger step inside. Missed the shot. Capella. And then the, the surprising stat is he had three blocks. T. Yeah. And that's that's primarily what his mindset's going to be going into the game. His defense for 5.6 rebounds. Capella the, the rebound off the miss. It's a whole different landscape with Young out of the game. There's now more guys from Atlanta getting involved as George misses a, a deep one. But let's just say a run in the West. I, I agree and, and well deserved, especially after being on the road for so long. And listen, the Jazz want to play, but uh, the game that was postponed gave them a chance to rest. Conley in the paint. Inside, tough catch by Gobert. Turns, hooks it home. No, rebound Capella. Under two minutes left, Clarkson. Was looking for a pass out, but Conley took the shot to Clarkson. Bumping him off the three point line. He finds space inside. Tough shot. No. He wants that bucket bad, but it won't fall. Capella thought he had an open lane. Not so. The trailer, Clarkson. And the rebound by Capella. Back comes Trey Young. Oni wants a three. Rudy tried to block out for the rebound. Comes loose to Capella. Here come the Hawks. Goodwin fresh into the game. Outside, Hunter. Capella able to get the offensive rebound. Puts it in. Physical first quarter between, oh, oh, oh Mello left him in the dust. Can't finish it though. Trey Young is fourth in the league in assists per game at 8.4. His scoring may have dipped seven points from last season. But he's still slinging that ball around. CJ running point for the Blazers with Mello, Gary Trent Jr., Giles, and Rodney Hood. Mello over to Gary Trent Jr. Nice look for him. Man, Blazers had some good action off of that. And, and then Derek picks up full court. Just playing through the ailments. Young has been connecting with Capella all night. He misses the first, slams home the second. He was the only person in that list of the people ahead of him who had not started a game. Capella trying to go against Cantor with the miss goes up and over. And the putback is good. Dame into the heart of the defense. Right hand blocked by Capella. Simons. Cantor looking for a teammate to pry open. Covington for three. Dame splits the defense, rises up. Cantor trying to control it, no luck. Hunter for three. Quick pass up court, Covington trying to go against Capella. Can't sneak it in though. 35% from the three point line last year. This year he's at 41%. Overall field goal percentage is up. He's trending upwards. Dame cross court pass. Blazers working around, Covington for three, no good. Two minutes left in the third quarter. 
Hood to his left. Rodney Hood, no good on the lay-in. Dang, two-man game with Mello for three. Rebound, Hawks. Jones Jr. almost had another steal. Young, quick closeout by Gary. Young with the floater. That's long. Capella there to put it back in. Throw him a bone early and keep these guys engaged. Yep. Beasley out of the corner. And Capella runs down the rebound. Now that becomes a layup. And yeah. then you get the help from there, which now becomes a three-point shot. So work your way inside out. And that also, what that does, that really helps Trey. That attempt to get that easy bucket, just effort and a motor. It's all, it's all effort. You're absolutely right. Kept alive for an instant, but Capella clears. Six points, four rebounds early. Nice crossover for Trey. Behind the back bounce to Herter. Kevin. Clint had it. In the post is a bonus. Turnover. Minnesota running. McDaniels to the basket. Left it short. And Rebound Capella. Two seconds, one. In and out for Anthony Edwards as the first period comes to an end. These young guys from they're, Minnesota, and they're yeah, active. Yeah, they're active and athletic. athletic. Like you said, I would have liked to see uh, BG. Trey moving in, moving out. Brandon Goodwin. Challenged late, and there's a flush follow for Capella. <laughs> Man, these. They trusted in, in the old fella. Trey lets it go. Capella tried to jam follow, and it's Anthony Edwards. More control of this basketball game. Uh, he's got 16 and four assists, and we send it back to State Farm Arena in downtown Atlanta with Bob Rathman and Dominique Wilkins. Once yeah, I, I, I couldn't play without it. So uh, I know there's a lot of guys who do it, and it's just, I, I mean, salute you guys who do that. I just never could, could bring myself to do that. More of a veteran pre presence, and like I said, their bench. That just strengthens their bench for times that your your starting lineup's not playing well, a little lackadaisical. You can put these guys, those scorers in. Collins. But that's what he's been. He's been a great, uh, uh, a great defender. Rebound Capella. He's becoming one of the go-to guys for the Hawks. Coming off the screen, Beasley. That's not a good shot. That's a tough shot. 24 turnovers. Edwards, Collins right there to deny. Trey has used his dribble and finds John Collins. Going in on Griffin. And there's Capella keeping it alive on the offensive glass and now, scoring. Pressed into a starting role tonight. You know when Trey does that and get downhill and make those the defensive guys have to make a decision. Pistons come the other way with Wright. Ellington. Drifted a bit on the shot. Yeah, he shoots the ball so quick. Herter giving to Hill. Another post up for John against Blake Griffin. Plumley had the rebound, but Hill knocked it away. Capella dives. That's blocked by Plumley, but that followed in. Jackson against Goodwin. Dumbuya out of the corner, tipped for an instant, but finally controlled by Capella. Get something going on the offensive end. Capella, the only starter for either team out there right now. High glass for Rondo. Capella there to clean it up. Second try, no. And it's going to be cleared by the Pistons. Solomon Hill steps into a three. Capella. <laughs> Just keep trying, big fella. <laughs> Them big guys down there are stuck in mud. We often talk about John's energy going after those offensive rebounds, but think about how many he goes after and doesn't get. Because of an odd bounce, what have you, the other guy gets it instead. See, it takes a lot of energy. See, Plumley not comfortable around the basket offensively. He's a guy who's going to play some defense, can rebound all these different things. Clint Capella, just get them all, Clint. 14 boards. Woo! Clint's going to come high. A couple of Screens for Trey. He'll let it go. That's off. Rebound Capella. <laughs> Blake Griffin feeds Plumley. Goes with the hook on Capella. <laughs> Kareem like. Capella drops back into the lane. Ellington took a look. Now gives it 
gets it. Puts up the floater. No. 17th board for Capella. There by Plumley. Trey. Out to Hill. Back to Trey in the corner. Bounce deep for Capella. No. Clint's get, getting it back. Firing is Trey Young, and that's good. Catch and shoot? No. He had a wide open three. Yeah, and then Trey coming at him. Now Griffin goes for a much tougher shot and misses. There's an offensive rebound for Stewart. And that was blocked. Griffin plays keep away from Collins. Hand off to right. Sets it. Shoots it. Misses it. Not a good shot there. Didn't. Rose driving on Capella. And Clint grabs the rebound. Rose on the cut to Grant. Spins. Contact. Missed shot. Capella fouled by Jeremy Grant. DeLon Wright. The only thing working against the Hawks right now is the clock. Griffin for three. That's no good. Not a good shot. Not a good shot. Rose back in. Gives to Grant. Jeremy. Rises up from 15. No. Capella another rebound over to Trey. Saves it. Herter to Clint, out to Hill for three. You need it. You need it. Capella again. Good. Capella has matched his career high in rebounds. Griffin, no. Griffin got behind the basket a little bit, tried to look for the foul that never came. For the Hawks, 8 of 15 shooting and was just excellent at all levels. Russell calls his own number, can't connect. And the rebound comes down to Capella. Nas fakes the pass. Can't connect on the three. They did a lot of stuff, Dave. They went double drag into a way action, and Malik Beasley finally got paid off at the end. It's a lot of complexity in what they just did. Trey Young gets stymied at the rim, but there's Capella to pick it up. For this Atlanta Hawks team. Hawks number one in the league in offensive rebounds per game. Number one in the league in rebounds per game, period. Okogie a little bit too strong, and there's another rebound for Atlanta. Reed. Finds Vanderbilt cutting, and Vanderbilt unable to connect. Beasley leaves it short, and the rebound pulled down by Capella. That's his sixth. Jaden McDaniels in the game as Ricky gets a deflection there. Fourth turnover of the game by the Hawks. Edwards. And Capella another board. Capella averaging 1.7 blocks per game on the season. Jump ball. The second one, he got up so high. He did a nice little push off that time on Capella, but. I'm telling you, those were valuable possessions for him. At least try it, Dave. I like the fact that he was going strong. You have to realize, okay, if this guy keeps his mouth shut 99% of the time, and when he usually complains when he's right, you got to give that player benefit of the doubt. You can't just tee him up because he's at Davis and you think he's, he, he's not worthy of being able to speak to you. Getting to the free throw line is green. Getting inside the restricted area is green. And I think that sometimes in those kind of situations, just pulling up would be the thing to do. Another and, rebound by Capella, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Trim's already six for six from the free throw line. Russell, no, and Capella. Look where Clint Capella is playing Jared Vanderbilt. <laughs> Okogi. And Capella, rebound number 13. Well, the Timberwolves. They gave away a 20-point lead against the Magic the other night. Maybe they can come back from 21 down here tonight. Or excuse me, 19 down. 21 was the was the largest deficit. Capella, another rebound. Trey, that is deep. When he was in Houston with the Rockets, he's still doing it today in Atlanta, guys. Thank you, Marnie. Yeah, Capella played soccer almost yeah. exclusively as a youngster before migrating to basketball. Beasley from Russell. 
And Capella gobbles up another rebound that's 18. Noel. McLaughlin, and there it is. 10. Number 10, the triple double for Capella. Hawks coming off a loss on Sunday against Milwaukee. Clippers coming off a win against Oklahoma City. Had back to back wins, as a matter of fact, at home against OKC. They've got the fourth best defensive rating in the NBA. They've stepped it up on the defensive end. Yeah, they have. And I think they have some size down there with Serge Ibaka. We know he's been a guy that can, he's slight and built. B.A., but here's a player that can get to the rim. He's relentless of absorbing contact with that small frame and finishing. The Cavaliers had, but he's added a lot to his game. He's gotten stronger, and all of a sudden, with all eyes on Trey Young and Clint Capella. And he's more comfortable in his role here with the Clippers. Morris did not play Sunday against Oklahoma City. He was out with an illness, not COVID-related. Hawks started... 2 of 11 from the field. Got a little bit better after that slow start. They can beat his guys one-on-one -on -one off the dribble without picking rolls. B.A., that is amazing at his age. He was so great as Williams misses. He was so great in the bubble for the Lakers last year. Jackson's going to pull it. You know, I think for Reggie Jackson, he's missed a couple of them. Just a couple possessions before, he plays big, and he made sure he understood that Herder wasn't going to be able to block him out. Great block. I think that was by Collins. Yeah, Collins got the block, gave Williams a second chance, though, and Williams unable to hit the three. And we're uh, we're trying to push through. We're calling the game, and we certainly understand our responsibilities here. It's been entertaining game thus far. And we'll do it for, for those guys. DeAndre Hunter's a lot stronger. He added some weight, some strength, and can do things like that. That one comes up short. Mm. Offensive board, Capella blocked by Ibaka. Plays in the paint. That was beautiful by both guys. Surge missing the rebound. Clint Capella getting it. Then the block shot from Surge. So Terrence Mann is a problem for the Hawks here tonight. That's some beautiful words from the commissioner of the NBA as well, an official statement. Looking shot off balance. Spelling positive minutes. You know, Trey Young's rest time. Didn't have to bring him back to early. It is. And there is Collins. Wow. And another rejection from the Hawks. The master of the bank shot back in the day with the Celtics. Absolutely right, Bob. They were expecting that bank to be open in Boston. Put Atlanta in the bonus. Young gives it up. Bad pass, but Collins able to recover. Well, against the Nets, including last season. Hoists it. Good Jordan help. back as well. Inside Cabarro. Nothing there. Cabarro, weak, weak challenge there at the rim. He's missed two layups. John continues to stroke it well from three. 40% for the year. Beyond the arc, Trey. That floater's been inconsistent. Here's a block. No foul was called. Hawks complaining. Screen from Capella. Trey's three. No. Clint's oh. got the offensive rebound. See DeAndre Jordan just stand there with the basket. Yeah, yeah. He didn't even go towards the ball. That ball should be Gotta on be its there. way. Got to be there. He'll get it. Capella with one on the shot clock. Clint. And the Nets take it away. Both guys looking for their shot here in this third quarter. Irving gets in. And Capella takes it away. Hunter against Joe Harris. Two Virginians head to head. It is Reddish. Capella, nice job of keeping it alive and away from Jeff Green. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It'd be hollering, don't leave him. I said, yes, you do. <laughs> Capella with the rebound. That's, Cabarro. That's who you want shooting. Yeah, you want him, you want my main man shooting. <laughs> Yo, <it>. man, Nick. <laughs> Look for Cabarro. They got that floor spread. Here it is, Nick. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. Cam corkscrews. Mm. Capella takes it away from Harden and dunks it. Here's Westbrook. 
Hachimura against Collins. And Capella able to save it to Trey Young. Jerome Robinson will try the three. Westbrook against Hunter. He wants a clear out. Robinson to the hoop. Maybe got a block there by Collins. Robinson down. Hawks have numbers. Shot clock down to one. Lopez the hook shot. And Capella's got the rebound. Westbrook trying to back down against Herter. In the paint, rises above him, doesn't get the shot to go. A flat-footed rebound there for Capella. Hunter against Hachimura, the rookies we were talking about during the crossover. And the follow by Capella, an and one. For me, my rookie duties were simple, man. Go get some Krispy Kreme donuts. If we needed a radio or something in the locker room, go to Walmart, buy a radio, stereo system. I know this sounds so old now. Look, like, like that? <laughs> right on cue. Uh, I mean, he's going to be in for uh, going to have to do a better job cleaning this game up. Rondo is chirping at Beal from the bench. Robinson doesn't get the roll. Capella's got the rebound. Trey Young lobbing it up to Capella. Capella misses. Collins gets another rebound. And this time Collins able to put it in. This is an important window for Bradley Beal, not just the Wizards, for them to keep this lead at least where it's at right now and not let it get out of hand. Westbrook, no. Capella, another rebound. 13 rebounds for Clint Capella to go along with 11 points. Trey Young has the last 16 for Atlanta. Everyone bites. That's for two. Capella finishes his own miss. We'll see how it plays out. And here is the initial defensive assignment, Reddish and LeBron. And off the mark is Contavious Caldwell Pope, the former Georgia Bulldog, and the Hawks get the first rebound of the game. He's more of a facilitator out of the post than someone who's going to really make things happen down there as far as offensively. And a traveling violation on Capella. When I broke my thumb, he said, Frank Vogel allowed him to be on the Zoom calls for the coaches' meetings to go over game plan scouting reports while they were in Orlando. Of course, that was back in, like, December. <laughs> Here's Hill driving in. The bump, the shot, no. Capella. Yeah. Capella. 55-48. LeBron, quick three. And again, you don't mind that shot. Gasol leaking out his Schroeder. Knocked down for an instant by Herter. Dennis feeds KCP three ball no. See here, I'm telling John, you, you don't retreat. You want that active hands. You When, when you have a great post-up player like that, Nick, as you know, you want to give him something else yeah. to think about. You know, yeah. someone. Because so they go, Trey gets in the lane. He can make some things happen. Dennis rolls it off the front of the rim. Kevin. Looking to score, blocked. Capella, good. Dennis fires. Bob, you've said it once, twice, maybe three times. <laughs> you need a stop. Dennis, they get it with Capella, the defensive rebound. Yeah, a quick shot there by the Lake. Trey floats it. Capella cleans it up. AD and LeBron. Davis missed it. Another tough shot there yeah. by the Lakers. But he's not as slow as people think. Yeah. He just don't let people speed him up. Yeah. I mean, he just plays so under control, and he's going to get what he wants when, whenever he, he's ready Excellent. to get there. If you don't, if you don't mind, I, I think as a rookie coming in, touted like that, it's easy to get rushed and play faster than you want to, and he never yeah. got rattled. And, and, and just making him get rid of the ball and making someone else start the offense. And what that does, it, it makes them start their offense deeper into the into the clock, right. where now you, you only get a pass or two and you get a, they're hoping for one bad shot. For the home team. Well, it's a great luxury to have a, a veteran group when you, you have to, quote unquote, bench your starters. But when you come in with another unit, you know, that you appreciate that. That's a solid, solid all-around player. Dantich. 
struggling to get going offensively. And they've only had one game postponed. Wow. Herter missing. Capella the offensive rebound. And Man. tipped in. That was tipped in by Porzingis, but. 31-28 Dallas. They don't have the bigs to defend that. Oh, oh goodness. Wow. The big fella launching one. That's not from Latvia. And, and, and the big fella ran, hustled back to get into a corral to, to make sure they had two bodies on Trey. And Luca just hangs back there on the rebounds. That's why he gets so many rebounds. He's willing to, at the point guard position, willing to get in there and help his teammates out. And again, he cannot connect beyond the arc. And Dallas can't connect beyond the arc, guys. Three behind the back to KP. Porzingis at the end of the clock. And Porzingis screaming for a foul that well, never came. Well, you know, you know didn't what? get a T. This, he's going to get it. That's, that's great refereeing, though. He didn't call the technical while the fast break yes. was happening. Brunson barrels in and misses. Tip no. Rebound to the Hawks oh, and Capella. And they've been struggling so behind that line. Floor spread. Catch and shoot, and Hardaway misses. He had two Airball. left corner threes in the first half. Absolutely. Okay, thank you, Bob. Dominique that. Wilkins. <laughs> thank you. Born in Paris. Here's Mitchell, and the rebound belongs to Capella. You got to defend the three. You got to get it to the three-point shooter. You got to give up something. I give up Rudy Gobert trying to get 30 tonight. Gobert challenged and denied by Capella. Rondo gets downhill. Capella and a foul coming back to the Jazz for this campaign former National High School Player of the Year here in Atlanta definitely a low scoring quarter for the Hawks now Gallinari got a smaller guy on him you got to take him that's Jordan Clarkson and Capella oh, and man. got it in Clarkson's had an amazing year he leads all NBA bench players in scoring a little long on that one. Rebound Capella in the middle to Goodwin. Particularly for a Utah team mm -hmm. that loves that three ball. Here is Conley firing and missing. Uh, that's not a good shot. It, it forces players to make quick decisions. Clarkson. He started this way in Salt Lake City. He had a scoreless first half and then 16 in the second half. Herter to Capella. Creates space, left it short, taps it in. Gobert left alone. Might as well shoot one. Yep. yep. Let him shoot that all day, every day, and twice on Sunday. <laughs> Herter gives Capella. Clint keeps it alive. Finally taken down by Bogdanovich. Longest hawk streak since Dwight Howard had 19 in a row back in 2017. Collins. Bogdanovich against Redditch. Gobert screens to give him some room to shoot. Well, that's a good shot. Inside against Gobert. Again, Gobert will not go get the ball. You know, if, if it's not in his area, he won't go get it. Doesn't move well laterally. Conley. Long bomb for Niang. Short clock here for Goodwin. Hill gets in, followed by Capella. And here's the matchup you talked about earlier with Collins against Siakam. Rebound Capella. Trey short with the floater. Capella controls it in the paint against Baines. Hooks at home, and he's got eight. Putting together a very good season, Nick. You remember Jamal Silk Wilkes had a little uh, yes. different looking shot, but very effective at UCLA yes. and in the NBA. 46 42 Raptors. Here's Lowry, a fake, a drive. Now he tees up oh. Baines for a wild shot. That was a terrible shot by Baines. One of the few times they didn't double Trey, and Trey took advantage of it. Fred Van Vliet rises. Misses. Well, these guys have taken some long three pointers tonight. Ben Bree on Herder. And the shot by Rennes doesn't go. Capella 
And the length paying off, and then the denial by Siakam, and how about Bembry coming away with it? Their offense has been there tonight. Lowry. Shot clock down. Fred with the three. Doesn't go, and Baines unable to out jump. Siakam. Pascal. And shot a little short hand. Capella there guarding him. Right there, a young team. They'll guard you big time early. The denial there. The other aspect to Jack Raptors have been very good at is getting timeout, points yeah. in the paint as Capella delivers, yeah, and there's timeout. a timeout. Yeah, you, you well, the Hawks have started this third quarter. They've played some really good defense. Yes, they have. And the rebound to Capella. Trey drives, blocked, pulled down by Boucher, over to Van Bleet. Four seconds, three. He's going to take it all the way down and miss it. And that's going to be the third quarter. Wow, what a ball game. What a one. Fred Van Bleet will drive it, hand it off, bounced around, picked up by Fred, back to Lowry. Four seconds, three to shoot. Herder defending Kyle from the foul line. Rebound Capella. No chance for the three. Now Fred. Oh, man. Didn't nothing. Take a He's fake. got nothing. Nothing. Rebound Capella. Capella. Oh, great job, Kevin Herter. Van Bleet hustles it ahead to Powell. Norman turns the corner and misses. Capella, Capella the rebound. <laughs> great challenge. Great challenge. You remind you of the house of Matumbo. Not in here. The attention that they create and Activity, man, made it very hard for them to get anything going. Well, we knew Capella was going to be a problem, and was he ever all night long. To try to trap him and swallow him up with bigger defenders. Doncic had that three come off the rim. He had a 35-piece against Dallas last Wednesday at home in that loss. Six-point loss to the Mavericks. Brunson with a... Clearly with the offensive foul. Porzingis straightaway three, no good. Back out to Brunson. He lets one fly. He misses. Porzingis with deep post position on Capella. Sweeping hook shot, no good. Reddish with the step back mid range, left it on the front rim. Capella with the rebound. And they turn it over. There's Young working against Brunson. Snell into the paint. Tough shot. Capella got the offensive board. Reddish is on Doncic. Here's Brunson, weak side, working against Young. Froze him with the dribble, but couldn't get the jumper to fall. And DeJounte Murray from the foul line. Capella. Shot clock continues to run down to seven. White. Capella claims, gives to Goodwin. Young for the Hawks. And the points all of a sudden hard to come by. Capella. Hey. Tipped in. White plays it back to Rudy Gay. Uh, that's a quick shot by Rudy Gay. Not a very good look at the basket there. And from the baseline, it pops out for Murray. Capella, good D by Pirtle. Good save by Clint. Now he throws it in the backcourt and out of bounds. Hawks with the ball to start the third quarter. Cam Reddish drives, misses. Capella's tip no good, and Jakob Pirtle clears. White. Here's Murray. Up and until Capella that, the rebound. Up until that shot, San Antonio had made that last. You you have to get some sort of rhythm going, some type of, you know, kind of continuity between, you know, your guys out there on the floor because right now it's okay, but you still got to play hard. Nice oh. pass inside. Better block by Capella. We should have laid it up. You know, he stopped and gathered himself, gave Capella a chance. Yeah, maybe so. Capella falling out of bounds saves it six up and five down on the road McDermott oh he shot that wide right 
the trailing Brogdon underneath the defense Sabonis. Good defense by Cam forced Sabonis a little bit outside the paint. Well, John really didn't have anywhere to go. Sabonis gets in, missed it short. He's short on that shot there. Capella going up, challenged by Turner this time. The tip, no, and the rebound, Sabonis. Dangerous as he's playing with four fouls over the back there. Trey hit the side of the glass, but Capella's there to put it in. Nice offensive play there. Holiday. Oh, that's not a good shot. Mm -hmm. It was a challenge shot from behind by Kevin Herta. With the rebound, hands it over to his younger brother. Lamb finds a three ball line and misses. That, that, you know what? That's a tough shot. TJ McConnell weaves through traffic, spins, banks, misses. <laughs> McConnell was trying to go through the big man move. 28 year old sixth year pro TJ McConnell drives it and misses. Cam on the sideline, bounce down, Collins turn, shoots, misses, air ball, rebound, Atlanta, Capella, shot clocks at three, two, Clint fires and hits. Whoa! But Randall continues to be there, but Barrett's numbers have fallen off. Tom Thibodeau addressed that before the game tonight, and he said, hey, the bench has been playing so well. About being traded and what they want to do with him. Yeah, that was another report released today from the Athletic. Shams from the Athletic as Capella makes a nice play. We thought it would be a good matchup with he and Collins. Now as Trey Young walks to the basket, literally, Capella able to score. Now the shot clock down to four. Peyton's going to have to put it up, goes to the rim, layup, too strong, off the glass. And in terms of lack of ball movement, and kind of pinpointed it towards Trey Young, according to the reports. Yeah, I, th I think they worked it out. Yep. Burks misses. His ah. pass deflected. Shot clock down to five. Quickly using a Taj Gibson screen. He got fouled. It looked like he did get hit from behind. The transition D by the Hawks. Bullock for three. Six point game, four minutes to play in the second. Peyton thought he was fouled. Gets it back, layup. A lot of contact there. Toppin couldn't quite grasp it. Nick team, Nick says a team have 12. Young has 10. Nine of his 14 points from the free throw lines. Back to three. Career, he's only 29%, but this year 39%. So a player like Capella has to get out on, which Capella is not as comfortable as others. But he does a good job on him as Randall tried to take him to the basket. Randall comes off the screen, and quickly puts up the jumper, and Capella the rebound. Young. Kicks it out in the corner. Reddish, a three-pointer. That won't go. Weak side rebound, Capella. Herter finds some room along the baseline. Back up top to Trey Young. And Young, all alone, uh, hits the side. Saved nicely by Capella. Reddish starting to erupt now. Moving and groove. That one off the side of the... Randall back out to quickly. Now drives. The floater's up. In and out. Capella with his 15th rebound of the night. Hawks trying to break through, snap a losing streak at three and get this road trip off to a great start. Pulled out of the air by Capella. How many times has he done that tonight? But missed the shot. Rebound, Collin. Emmanuel quickly gets in the paint, floats it up, rolls off the rim, fight for the rebound, goes to Capella. Young to inbound. Herter catches, He's caught in the corner, quickly guarding him. Shot clock winding down. Herter falling away in the paint, comes up short. Capella the rebound and puts it back up and in. Thompson again off the bounce, bounces off Capella, gets him in the air, comes up with the left hand. No, tips it again, won't go. Capella comes away with it. But I mean, that stuff happens, especially sure. with young players. I didn't think that was the big deal, even though, like, you know, the media, they make a big deal about. Nine different players scored for the Celtics in that first quarter. Look at Rob Williams sprint into the screen. We had nine ties and nine lead changes in this game. Williams to catch and shot. 
Tatum again. Capella with still another rebound. Brown with four in the shot clock. Brown's going to take it. <clears throat> Nate McMillan, if he came in late, the coaching on the sidelines is. Lloyd Pierce went back to Atlanta for the birth of his second child after the loss to the Knicks the other night. Snell just made a tough shot driving left, shooting with his right hand. Brown again looking to go to the basket. Does. Does not get the touch. Into Capella, who just checked in, puts it back up twice, third time. Young keeps on going, he keeps giving him room, he keeps on going, he's short with the finger roll. Collins takes it hard to the hoop, can't finish. Capella hangs in there, comes up with the loose ball. Oh, wow, another miss. Nice play. No, that was a good block by Tristan Thompson. Was it? They have been early. Thompson drives hard. No, rebound taken off by Capella. Quick, quickly ahead to Young. Off the bounce. Herder doesn't get the bounce. But Capella I does. I don't know what that was right there. To the hoop. Neesmith long with the jumper. Gallinari again looking for the shot. Takes it hard. Can't spin it home. Collins turns all alone, misses the shot. Capella does not miss the tip. Pritchard gets it right back. Tice missing the shot. He looked up at the, the basket like he was going to fire from the logo. Still a long night for Collins. Reddish was all alone underneath. Capella didn't see him. Pritchard misses. Javante Green keeping it alive on the offensive glass. Goodwin. Takes it to the free throw line. Has it rejected by Williams. Gallinari really want, dearly wants to do something positive here. Tipped in. Four on the shot clock. Young. Capella. Capella again. Here's Jokic against Capella. And this time it's the Joker right in front, halfway in the pipe and out. 20 year old rookie out of Minneapolis. Nice. He shot that a little short. Trey kicks it out. Two in a row for Kevin. Back iron and a long board for Capella. Kevin said, hey, give it to me again. Jokic drives it, pumps, can't roll it in, but keeps it alive, and Capella finally grabs it. Jokic. Jokic not, doesn't have the eye tonight. Stretched out, and now coming over, John to block the shot. Good help defense that time. Mays on the run. Rejected by Barton, picked up by Capella. Barton. Barton with the heat check there. Hawks back defensively. Jokic from 16. Well, he can't buy a shot tonight. Pretty Capella. crafty on that pass. Yes, he was. Jokic to Porter. Getting everybody else involved. That makes it a little easier to get points. Morris puts it up. And he's complaining about a whistle. There was none. Hampton's got it. Hampton on the run. Hampton off to the races. Floated up. No. That's a Latin comedy. 
Garland had eight assists for the Cavaliers here two nights ago in the loss to Oklahoma City. That was a team high as Sexton tiptoes along the baseline. Got it to Okoro. Okoro lost it up ahead to Collins who leaps out. Scoop shot in and out. Tipped by Wade who kept it away from the athletic Collins. Out comes Sexton. North south of the bucket. Rejected by Snell. Young cross court to Snell. He steps into a three. Oh, big time followed by Clint Capella. Sexton pedals into the corner where he's picked up by Snell. He'll veer off an Allen screen. Long three by Garland. Allen keeps it inbound. Sends it ahead to Garland. Off he goes. Garland in toward Collins. A floater. Capella rebounds. Young to trigger. We pass the midway point of this first quarter. Herter toward the bucket down the right alley. Missed the shot. Capella battles with Allen. Those two continue to rip at the ball, and eventually Allen wins that battle. Snell in toward Wade. Comes to Capella. Blocked Ooh. by Allen. Capella got it back. Can't finish. Loose ball. Capella again. Osmond looks to get loose. Garland right around Young to the bucket. Uses glass. Doesn't go. Capella rebounds. Three to go here in the second quarter. Young penetrates, floats, doesn't go. Tipped by Capella. Capella banks. Collins follows with a dunk. Trey, his pass nearly taken away. Snell saves. Touch pass to Gallo, who's starting this third quarter, and the shot is no good. Rebound Capella. Saxton relays to Garland. Garland's watched by Young. Back to Collin for three. Brought in some veterans like Bogdanovich and Gallinari and Snell as Akuro toward the bucket hands off to Allen. Allen puts it up, missed the shot. Chris Finch Monday. They're actually currently 7 and 24 in last in the West. And Demarcus Cousins released today by the Rockets. The Cavs see the Rockets tomorrow night. Solomon Hill works on the rookie and Windler. Gets to the paint. Turnaround 10 footer. McGee got a piece of it, but it's tipped in by Capella. Rebound by Capella for a moment. Knocked away by Windler, who's been all over the place here. Off the Cavs bench. Sexton down the lane. Puts it up. Can't finish. Rebounded by Capella. Well, they don't have anybody inside who can guard John Collins when he gets that low post position. Tatum. Tough shot there by Tatum. Touched in this world and uh I might mention one other thing. I got the opportunity to travel to Africa with him a few years ago, and how many rulers all over the continent would just pick the Boston lineup with a calf injury. He'll be back after the All Star break, it appears, but nothing wrong with that tongue. <laughs> <laughs> he got to see the ball go through the basket, get him a quick bucket, a nice post up, or a free throw. And you see, you'll see what that does for Tatum. Kevin. Rolls it off, tipped, taken down by Jeff T. Tice, boy, he was a non-factor in the first half. He was so impressive in Boston. But see, I'm gonna tell you the reason why they got the block. Trey, he kind of slowed down just a little bit, and they were able to get their hands on the ball. Both teams now trying to get into the fast break game, looking for easy opportunities, but nobody Brown. can cash in. Two <laughs> missed layups in a row. Yeah. Jalen Brown with the bump. The shot is short. And Capella. That's a fourth shot. Rondo in for Trey. Solo. Capella right there. And so Darius Baisley and Isaiah Roby will anchor the front court for OKC. And you already see a, a momentary trap there, but Trey Young gives it up to Herter. And there is Clint Capella on the glass, slamming home that redirect. Was in the context of the, de of the offense. And just so economic as Young floats it up. And Capella, this is now game number 33, and you would expect that with communication and trust. Absolutely. And, you know, that's that's one of your saving grace right now is that your defense is pretty good. So many good offensive talented players as Roby spots up, squares up, and had a good look at the three. You know, he reminds me of a former Hawk named Danny Roundfield, folks. Google him when you get a chance. Big, strong body. Can play away from the basket, around the basket. 
he's got a lot of room to operate because a lot of times they're trying to worry about what Trey Young is doing. Dort turned the corner and then ran into the wall that is Capella. This is a dunking team around the basket between Capella and Collins. Herter with the runner. Capella keeping it alive. What he does, and it's still loose underneath, and finally it's Herter. Well, all of my, well, most of it, with two officials. They're going to have to work pretty hard to cover the floor as the Thunder continue. Uscala followed his own miss. Uscala with the block, but Herter keeps the possession for Atlanta. Three on the way. Snell, no. And a foul on the floor floor there by Williams so the Thunder after trailing by nine points early have taken a five-point lead with four and a half to go and a blow by there from SGA you're starting and backup guard Roby's gonna have to move quickly knows he knows it and on the fadeaway came up empty SGA this ball swings around to Jackson in the corner and it's Capella volleyballing it to himself. Now Gallinari, who could shoot it over Jerome if he wants. It's a drive. Oh, but Capella missed the bunny initially. And the offensive rebound, second chance. In the last seven minutes of the third quarter, ultimately going plus eight. So Mike, big double-digit 16-point lead for OKC heading into the fourth. Well, we talked about, you know, the Thunder having one of those, you know, share the wealth night. But there just hasn't been any drop off whatsoever either with the second unit on the floor tonight for the Thunder as Williams. Time waning as Muscala, who just made that three right before the end of the third quarter. Top teams at getting to the free throw line. You've kept them off there tonight. Jackson straight away. Push back into this one. Get it down to single digits. Or the Thunder can maintain its double digit lead. But that one popped up. I don't know if it was Gallinari who intentionally was able to redirect it. Jerome navigating, looking for some space. Had Mays on him. This becomes kind of a big possession here, nine-point game. See if Atlanta can get closer or the Thunder hold him off. Collins off on a three, but Capella the offensive rebound and a fresh 14. And Atlanta's going to have to operate quickly here offensively. Going to need to microwave some offense. And Hill, boy, he blew the layup underneath, but Capella right there to clean the glass. Right now, if you're the Thunder, you don't need to score. Let them bring the action to you. SGA quickly went to the rim. Hawks are just behind Miami, not that far back, as a matter of fact. Here's Clint Capella. Capella powers his way to the basket, missed the dunk. Olenek in a crowd of Hawks comes down with a rebound. Robinson unloads a three. And the rebound on the offensive end to Bam against Capella. And look at those two bigs battle. That's a 48 minute war between Capella and Adebayo. You are not kidding. Hero off the bounce finds Vincent. Duncan. Robinson, slow starting tonight. He is scoreless on 0 for 3 shooting. Here come the Heat again. That full court defense really slowing down the Hawks and, and putting them in a funk offensively. In and out for Hero. Capella over the top of Iguodala for the rebound. Trey Young driving left on K9. Olenek picks him up. Here, here he comes. And that one is Capella able to follow it. By the way, Duncan Robinson is scoreless. He's missed all five of his shots. Kendrick Nunn, he had 13 first half points. And Capella comes down with a rebound. Young doubled. Everywhere he goes, there's two defenders staring at him. That's Tony Snell. Capella with the offensive rebound. Powered it up in and a foul. That's Clint Capella at his very best. Solomon Hill back to Capella. Bumps with Bam and misses it. Tipped oh. in. It'll give credit to Capella. It was actually Olenek that knocked it in. Three and a half minutes to go in the third. It's Rondo. And Capella misses in close, but scraps for another try and misses that one. And it'll go back to Miami. Going up and getting quick rebounds and finishes. Seven points for Vincent. Three of three shooting. Gallinari misses it. Capella. Oh, he got the offensive rebound. Looked like he pushed off, but he, he scored. Good free throw and it'll help you. Collins powers it up, missed it. Capella able to score. 
Iguodala. Vincent for three. Capella with his 13th rebound. Got to be a little more judicious when you're getting in there with your hand. Herter for three. Capella with another offensive rebound. That's eight offensive boards for him. Here's none. Had a three, moves to mid range and misses. And the league's best rebounder this year, Clint Capella, cleans the glass for the first time tonight for the Hawks. Trey Young on the drive, deflected. Capella finishes. That's where KO has to be careful to not overhelp off KO in the corner, who is able to get open, rifles a, a pass across to get the open look. John Collins missed the three. Capella, that's what he does best offensive rebound. He's got a high usage rate, meaning they run a lot of plays. He's constantly handling the ball to score a pass. So if you can get it out of his hands, make somebody else a decision maker. Kendrick Nunn into the paint on Trey Young. It rolled off. Olenek keeps it alive. And Capella finally gobbles up his fifth rebound of this first quarter. Heat of the league's longest current win streak. They've won six in a row in 10 of their last 13. Herter, left corner triple. And Capella pushed off, got another offensive rebound. And look, it's common sensey because of all the flexibility that you need when guys are potentially going out due to safety protocols. You need those extra guys to be able to step in. Heat live post game on Fox Sports Sun. That will end the Will Manso and John Crotty triathlon. <laughs> to give Atlanta a chance to maybe go to the playoffs. Hawks have a lot of questions to answer, including do they want to keep John Collins, who is headed toward free agency? Struess made a good catch. Handoff from Bam, fires. Well, the heater two for 15 from the through. Kelly's team defensive instincts kicking in. Two on the shot clock. Young gets it off. Missed it. And Capella with another offensive rebound. 6.20 left, third quarter. Duncan on the drive. Oh, that could have been a goaltend, but Capella comes away with a... Iguodala missed the second. 13th rebound of the game for Clint Capella. Five triples in the fourth quarter for Atlanta. Five of their 12. That's a 30-foot shot right there. That's so far beyond where the zone was extended, even at the three-point line. Trey Young there. It's man back into a man-to-man. -man. They've come out of that 2-3 zone. Herter for three. Capella with the offensive rebound. And Hero fouls Herter from behind. Build around for a long, long time. Maybe that's part of the reason the, the Rockets, of course, they gave away James Harden to trade, too. They got plenty back for him, but... Tyler Hero's got to move the ball faster here. This has got to be quick-hitting type plays for Miami at this juncture. You know, they're trailing by, by 16 points. 14 points, excuse me. 2-0. They won at Miami. A defensive battle. As Capella gets a piece of that, and Baines tumbling to the court. As Capella gets a piece of that, and Baines tumbling to the court. And then the second night of a back-to-back -back they won in Orlando right before the All-Star break, Jack. Walking over to set a screen, Lowry with Baines rolling, and the shot pops out. And was relieved of his duties. March 1st, and Nate McMillan as Baines' his three doesn't go, Jack. Whether or not he'd become the interim head coach and talk to Lloyd Pierce about it. Nate McMillan in his 17th season as a head coach in the NBA. Mr. Sonic, here's Capella, and Baines cuts him off. Bembry, he'll launch, and he struggled from three as of late, Jack. He sure has. Still without a Pascal, and OG, and Fred Van Vliet, and as Collins gets a piece of that, certainly wish all the Raptors, as well as the along with Paul Watson, Lowry, Baines, and Powell. Lowry, Boucher has it denied. And the NBA, obviously, the next day, Jack, postponing the season. And we all went into quarantine because yeah. the Raptors had played the Jazz. Powell on a handoff, Watson. On the drive, the reverse tough, and a denial. Tough guy to do that on. 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific.
The Bulls and the Raptors Chicago currently ninth in the East at 16 and 18. And John Collins shot doesn't go and there's Baines his 12th rebound. He has been magnificent on the glass Norman Powell and it pops out. Herder deep three and too strong batted out by Capella Trey Young lines it up and it doesn't go and Baines mm. has been beat today uh, Villanova by Georgetown upset in the Big East tournament Colin Gillespie their fine point guard out for the year with a knee injury so they're leaking oil a little bit the Wildcats Raptors on a 19 8 run over the last five plus minutes and Watson with a three that doesn't go Good transition opportunity coming right off the deflection. Hill. Shot doesn't go. Capella with it. Wasn't the guy raising my hand. I just blurred out the answer. Yeah, kind of like uh, the idiot I am on TV right here's, now. Here's Watanabe denied by Collins. And Capella scoops it up. Five of the shot clock. Norm driving. Bembry. Clock goes up at the end of the clock and a rebound in a two-point game. Concentrate on getting good shots consistently throughout the game. Just make sure you move the ball. And they move it to the corner, an air ball from Marvin Bagley. It hadn't been so. Trey blocked. Capella cleans it up. Man, Capella is everywhere. Bagley claims it. He's got Capella. Will drive in, spin. Oh, that was a wonderful move, but short on the shot. 36 35 Atlanta. Lob to be elite. a touch pass to Holmes, and it's blocked by Clint Capella. Lob to be elite. a touch pass to Holmes, and it's blocked by Clint Capella. Boy, what a recovery. Played the first pass and got back to block the attempt. Rondo off the rim, but tipped in by Capella. Trey with the left hand. Capella jams the miss. King's possession, but only five on the shot clock for Halliburton. Harrison Barnes. And the rebound to Clint. Kevin Herter comes around, shoots a 15-footer. And there's that man again, Clint Capella, to knock it in. Make it hard for him. Force him into taking tough shots. Buddy Heal for three. Another tough shot by Heal. He's one for six. We wish him well in Charlotte in two nights. <laughs> Here is Trey putting it up and off. And the rebound to Capella. Back to Trey. And this one's short. 75 64 Fox for three a 28 footer for Trey but he healed from the dotted line and Clint Capella the Aaron Fox the ball finds Corey Joseph Holmes from the foul line oh that's ugh. Get that shot going. I was startled to hear Coach McMillan say the other day, and there's Bogey running it off the rim. He's just 19 years old from Serbia. Al controls it. Little baby hook is short. Capella has no, the rebound. I thought he got a piece of that. Trey has seven. Gilgis Alexander, and again, good defense. By Tony Snell, lob to Collins from Kevin. Timeout, OKC. A block each for Collins and Capella early. A drive by Maladone. He misses. Tip no good. Well, these guys can't make layups. And Trey is recognizing that. That's easy two points uh, for easy. him. Yeah, you're right, Nick. That's a 13-foot jump shot open. <laughs> Easier than a free throw. 21 <laughs> points to go with eight assists for Trey. He can get a few more rebounds. He can. Join the triple double party in the NBA. To they You're expect so right. their teammate to get over the screen, and that's a lot of times impossible. Yes. John had it ripped out of his hand. Goes up, Capella. Boy, the two bigs really stayed after at that time. I am so sad to learn that this year, 
The OK City Thunder has stricken from the record books all of the Seattle records. They moved to OKC. In fact, Kevin Durant played his rookie season in Seattle. Right. I mean, yeah, he and my and nephew Damian played together. He had 19 points in their last game, although his numbers have been down the last five. Little inside out. LeBron to Markeith in and out. Heart break. Rebound to Capella. See another three go down by the Hawks for the margin we stand at. Again, if you're just joining us, the Hawks looking for their eighth win in a row as Capella throws it up and misses. Tap once, twice, and he scores. Horton Tucker bounces now. He's making good decisions, too. That's nice to see, not forcing too many things. Kuzma, long three straight away. He was up against the clock. He, he can score. Keep his two for five on the afternoon. Herder. From downtown rebound capella oh blocked on the other side they're going to get theirs he sat the entire fourth quarter of their win the other night a, a win where they're ahead by as many as 27 against okc capella was there nowhere for schroeder to go yeah lebron is out for the rest of the game with that right ankle injury so no more lebron tonight right angle uh, right ankle injury guys well, that's not surprising that he's done for the evening time the jack-in-the-box halftime report when we Send it back to the studio. Under a minute to play here in the first half. Rebound to Capella, his eighth of the game. So the first bucket of this half goes to Atlanta. And against you, you mentioned it. You've got to keep them off the glass on the offensive end. A 13 to 2 second chance points advantage for the Hawks. Kuzma with six on the shot clock. Kick it out to KCP, looking for his first basket of the game, and he's still 0 for 0 for 4. Was three for three in the first half. THT all the way. Blocked by Collins. Having himself a game. Well, they're having themselves quite a third quarter. Yeah, they are. 64-53 on its way. Lakers have still not scored. Capella once, twice. Who's going to get it? Look at Schroeder diving for the basketball. Everybody was convinced he was going back outside. And then he... He turned and had a layup, but couldn't finish it. Trey on the lob, the tip, no, but the tap again is good by Capella. Horton Tucker, the scoop looking for the score, the tap by Capella. Again, if you're just joining us, LeBron out of the game with an ankle injury, no real details about it. Here's Caruso, blocked that time by Bogdanovich. And ideally, they said they'd like to have it in the front court within four seconds because it gives you more time for something like what happened last time. They still got that shot off and made a three Atlanta. Bogdanovich comes away with the loose ball. That was four seconds. He was up into that position exactly at 20 on the 20, 24 second clock. Young's floater astray. The tap in by Capella. Get the ball over the arms of the defenders, and it was right on the money. Another catch and shoot variety three for Gallo, not there. Capella with the rebound. Great box out by Evita, comes away with the rebound as well. Clippers trail by five. By the way, Zoo with ten first half points. George to the rim, no. Zubats with the rebound, off the window, it wiggles out. But it's Herter that comes away for Atlanta. Capella sets the screen that frees Herter for the tray. Capella comes away with the rebound. Gets to the rim. Interception by Paul George. Does not have numbers. And he'll still push the tempo a little bit anyway. Ignores the screen from Zoo. Steps into a mid-range shot offline. He approached the two-minute warning here in the first half. So Trey Young understands that he has to master that floater because if big men are going to lay back when he comes off screens, he's going to have that opportunity to get it up there while he's taking off. 15-point lead. For Atlanta, a 25-point turnaround in this first half. After the Clippers, Clippers have trailed by as many as 18 here tonight. That's the biggest lead that they have overcome this season. It happened just after losing to Atlanta back in January. The Clippers would prevail in Miami after trailing by 18 in the first half. Capella bouncing into defenders, comes up on the other side. Great defense by Zoo. Second effort doesn't fall for Atlanta. And the Hawks now begin their offense in single digits of the clock. Young the floater, short. Capella the follow, pure. Zubac giving it to Kawhi, screens for him. And Kawhi's pass is an errant one, but Jackson has it. His three at the end of the shot clock is no good. 
in a as wild of a game as we have seen in a while. Man blocked at the rim by Collins. Loose ball retrieved by the Hawks. It's 98-91. Kawhi little give and go with PG. Finds Batum in the corner for three. Hey, this guy's been hitting on all cylinders as of late. Buddy Hill. Here's Trey getting into the paint short. Here's the rebounding you talked about. Back comes Tyrese. Nice. Gets into the paint. Little runner too strong. Rebound Capella. Back comes Fox. And some good defense. And some good D as well. Collins. One up strong. Clint Capella. You got to keep him off the glass. Got a little Kwame in him. You, you know only, about that? Only you? Uh, only you? Yeah, oh, on, I see you. Look at there. you. With the I am a, pants. Yes, sir. I am highly <laughs> impressed right now. I want to say, ladies and gentlemen. They're high on this guy, though. Yeah, I, mean, I, I could see why. Top five pick. Won a championship at Virginia. Rebound, rebound, guy. Go, go. Six, eight, six, nine. That's good work. Hurt her too strong, but there's Camella. <laughs> There's that man again. That's why young players, Kyle, uh, whenever I talk to them, it, it's important that you learn how to play all parts of the game. Clint Capella, 24 and 14, the last time we saw him. It's unfathomable. Donovich misses. Capella misses Travel. Did you, see, uh, yeah, did you was, see the little shove? Was, yeah, <laughs> side item. Look at Fox though. Buddy. Bogdanovich there with the block and at the half. We are tied at 57. Three point range. Tyrese launching one. Hard push from Harrison Barnes. Holmes puts it on the deck. Shot clock already down to five. Three seconds in there. Yeah. Hey. Hi, Archer. There's that man, Capella. Clint Capella, lefty layup. Sugar with his coffee. That's why he was so hyper, man. This guy was like Energizer Bunny. He would mix those cups of coffee. It would. It was like coffee sludge. Fox up to 30. Oh, the guards are doing it. Young misses, but Clint Capella, another second chance buck. Fox signed that big contract extension in the offseason. Oh. Bogdanovich, the kick, get that shot out of here, Mr. Holmes. Ah, but Capella. Ooh, man. Wiseman kicks it back out to Green. Quick pass over to Wiggins, working against Bogdanovich. Wiggins with that patented spin, misfiring on the mid-range jump shot. Ubre kicks it back out to Poole. Poole cuts to the basket, plays through the contact, no call. Now Kerr says, hey, it's going to happen for the rookie. But if you look at other rookies who were bigs in particular, KG and. Get you off balance, get you in the air, creates contact, and finds a way to get his team easy basket opportunities, whether it be on the field or from the line. Warriors have a three on two. And now the Hawks back in transition. Mannion catch and shoot three is short. And he couldn't catch. Mannion for the Warriors. Boy, you heard Solomon Hill say, take it out of here. About defense. You've given up 61 points a little under three minutes to go in this first half. They have to be better. That long two was no good. Yeah, they're on pace almost to shooting percentage for most of the season. Over 50%. Pool, quick catch and shoot, no good. And one and done at the offensive end for the Warriors. Here's Young. After the bucket, Golden State Warriors coming back the other way. That snap, Golden State's 9 0 run. And Capella with the board off the pool miss. Bogdanovich from downtown off the mark. And Atlanta, by the way, if you're just joining us, without Dion. Back in the day, Mark, I can imagine. <laughs> You had your chest all out, I bet, didn't you? Man, you couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> See who option number one is. Mannion out front. 
Ubre behind the three point line off the mark. And the results are showing for the Hawks. They've won eight of ten since he took over. A deep three by Young. Capella wrestling inside with a putback. I mean, just playing with a lot of confidence and patience. Capella hijacks that. But he's done a great job of picking and choosing his spots when to be aggressive as a scorer and when to make plays for his teammates. Boy, Capella doing some work underneath, bounding a couple of times. Jokic has it. Outlet pass is to Gordon. Gordon to snap it over to Murray. He steps into a three. Around and out. Rebound Clint Capella. Now the Nuggets come over and double. Swing it around the perimeter. Tony Snell and inside to Capella who tips it in. Is that he turns the corner. He knows most defenses are not going to close on him. And he just makes them pay for it. Murray gives it up late and Barton misses. Rebound Capella, his third. He's gone over 3,800 career rebounds. Barton with the dribble drive. Well, that's three layups. Barton has had right at the rim and haven't been able to finish. Here comes Trey Young. You know, Murray having a career year, averaging 21 points per game. Now, Gordon from the corner, in and out. Fainting like they might double. No, they're playing him one on one. Pass it out to Barton for three. And Capello rebounds. Into Murray. Out to Gordon. He shoots the three. Rebounded. Clint Capella. Murray. Steps back. Missed it left. Rebound Capella. Great strength being displayed there by D.A. to muscle that one away. Pull up three for Book. This one spins out. But... And the Suns just want him to improve during the course of this season because this is a very opportunistic season right now. Crowder behind the stripe. This one spins out on him. And the Suns are seeing here. They have a plethora of score. Yeah, they got stung pretty hard Sunday by Denver. Is book. Paul, no look dish, finding Cam from the corner. And the Suns have already exceeded their bench scoring output on Sunday. They've got 25 here today after 21 on Sunday. Capella with a quick offensive rebound put back, tapped around, Suns control. Eight points for Collins, four rebounds, three assists in his 14 minutes. Back and forth, Cam from the near corner. Gallinari likes that flat-footed three. It just kind of freezes you a little bit. You don't know if he's jumping or not, and he gets that shot off. D.A. left that one a little short. Got a hand on that one, it looked like, to force the miss for Young. Book gets into the paint. Can't get the roll. Yeah, you look at that game against Denver on Sunday, and once the Nuggets began to pull away, they just pretty much buried the Hawks is Crowder from the corner. Won't get this one. Crowder takes the inbound. Paul makes him do that dance. Slips inside. And Capella able to get a hand to force the miss. 15 steals on Sunday. Six a career high from Mikhail Bridges. Chris Paul with a pull up. No. A little uh, old school Gus Williams in Crowder pulls from deep. They to start going to him in the post. So it's a lot of weapons that Nate can can really go with here as this you know game get works its way into the fourth quarter. You turn it over, they're gonna score. And that's why turnovers hurt you. 17 for Bogdanovich, averaging 10. Step back long two for Book. This one spins out. Paul wanted to get it inside to DA. They had sealed it off. Book with a head down, swings it into the corner. Paul for teams coming in. The Suns had done a pretty good job of it through the first two and a half, three quarters. Book, a little pump fake, rising up. Can't get the spot. Here is Keldon Johnson <laughs> to Rosa, rather uh, Murray. Jonte Fortune just get that off. Yeah. He's back behind the board. Going 4-4 four, four from the line to tie it up. DeRozan, rebound to Capelli, gives quickly to Young and runs the floor. 
Young nearly lost the dribble, got loose, flips it up, spins off. Capella puts it back. No, again, no. Rebound, Pirtle. Get that ball at the glass really quickly. Clint Capella was there. Gallinari underneath. Capella double clutched. Finally got it to go. White, here's Capella. Young in the paint. Yeah, but he knows it's a free shot. Third in the league in assist. He's 12th in scoring at 25 plus a game. The Rosen. Capella gathers it before it goes out of bounds. And, and why wait until the fourth quarter when things are tight to start to turn it on? Murray's shot was blocked. Capella retrieves. You're right. You got it. I was just talking about that graphic because DeMar uh, never takes crazy shots, stays within himself most of the time. I know it's kind of cliche. We're going to quit talking about him. Murray short on the jumper from the paint. All in one motion. White seventh three of the night, a career best. The other way, Williams the miss, Capella the follow, and they foul him. Taking it inside, and if he either puts it up or puts it up to Capella. DeRozan the miss. Murray, great fight for the rebound, but it's taken by the Hawks. Six in the shot clock. Knocked away. White's going to have to fire. He does. And the rebound off to Capella. Pirtle to DeRozan. From 18. Rebound, Capella. And they can hear the audio right now. <laughs> Scott Wall on the sideline. He can hear you. Nikhil. And he came out after the game and shot right. free throws last night. Bledsoe on the attack. James Johnson a couple of triples last night. It'll be Eric Bledsoe. Stayed out, even though it looked good out of his hand. For Eric Bledsoe. Ooh. I don't want it. You take it. Percentage buster. And off James Johnson, Clint Capelli will track it down. Off the pick, he's got Herder on his back. James Johnson wide open. Coming up short. After he had three triples last night. Now, so Bagdanovich understands when I'm, I come off this pick and roll, there is no Jackson Hayes there, so I'll have the room to get my shot off. It grazed the rim. Now, end of the shot clock. Bogdanovich knows it. And with a long rebound, Capella taps it to Herder. James Johnson going to the floor, keeping it alive, but Capella's met. Got a piece of it and took it away. Watch He's Herder got, for three. He got it wide open. Kevin Herder. And it's Capella on the offensive glass. That's a break. Now they're back in the zone, aren't they? Yeah. It'll be a corner three, yeah, wide job, open. Tough. And, and and I like what what Coach Walter said at half. And he's up to 26 points. Tripped up. Let it go. Inside of six to play. And now the largest lead in the game. It'll be Wes Wundu. Yeah, but Capella. The, the reality is he's probably being asked to score a little bit more because of the roster makeup, right? Dr Draymond not to score in that front office with this team. is It's about developing some of that core young talent and seeing what meshes well with our proven winners in, in Clay and Draymond. And, uh, didn't quite go as planned, but if you look at what he's done this year, that ability to get that head to the rim really does open up so much of what they want to do offensively. That shot was very long there by Herter. Lob again inside. Here's Wiseman and a push by Capello. Uh, heck, you didn't know where team you're going to be on up until about a couple weeks before the uh, beginning yeah, of training point. camp. Yeah, Greenman runs the break. I'm sorry about that part. That was a terrific defensive sequence there by the Warriors. You've got to be able to have two, three minute stretches where you can create separation. And they've kind of figured that out here of late. And it's really allowed for their team to be able to, as Nate McMillan said, we, we can finish games down. Thompson, from everything we have been told, right on schedule with his rehab process. Back-to-back so -back devastating injuries. His pulls three-pointer won't go on the rebound, cleared by Capella. Well, you know, now you're considered one of the best if you're giving up like 100, 203, 104. So completely different game there. Beautiful finish there by Capella. Curry 
Perry going back door to Wiseman to spin. Everything that time but the finish. Starting to feel it. And if you're the Hawks, this is when I think you're at your very best. When you've got him shooting it consistently as Wiseman misses that little mid-range. And that's exactly what happened for Oubre on that finish. Here's Wiggins on a transition three, not that time. The rebound by Capella. You know, not asked to do some things. What a great catch there by Draymond. Three-pointer from Oubre won't go. It's this year. These guys, the, the great players, just constantly evolving as Wiggins misses on a three. And the rebound corralled by Capella. It's really for everybody out on the floor. But... Raymond hasn't scored it like maybe he's capable of, but he has done everything else, and as, as has Clint Capella. And there you go to try to get yourself connected. Three-pointer from Curry, not that time, and the rebound tracked down by Capella. Lou Williams, three-time NBA Sixth Man of the Year. Inside, off the deflection, gets it back. No, the putback, Capella, and he's fouled. Eric Bledsoe in the middle of Adams. In and out. <laughs> Moving in, shooting it short. Bledsoe, rebound Capella. Look at the big man grab it and run the floor. No, that's, two, right through that's two fullbacks. <laughs> yeah. You got a lot of fullbacks that's not as big as him. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Capella boards, and now they get the ball in the hands of Lou Williams. Uh, they're oh. playing well. The Sporting Cats is playing very well. Yes. 48-37, Bogdanovich. Capella with the follow. Catch and shoot for Bledsoe. Oh, that was way short. Did Bogey get a piece of that? Or no? Trey, back to Bogdanovich. Hawks up by two. Hawks up by two, but Capella, offensive rebound. Only person I can think of right now. <laughs> Lonzo trying to get going here. Can't. Still cold from three. Hawks push the other way. And no, he's still. You never know when it's going to erupt for you, Bob. That's why you got to always try your jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Bledsoe with Trey running at him. Capella the rebound. And here come the Hawks up by 10. And this is a guy who's been out a few games. Tony Snell. Kept alive by Capella. And he's fouled. Thomas. Here's Troy, a ball fake floater. Kept alive by Capella. Look at that. That is, that is insane. Levine for three. Now we're going to give him a heat check there, Bob, because he's made <laughs> their first 10 points. Not enough air on that pass for Herter, intercepted by Patrick Williams. A miss by Thaddeus Young. Now Thaddeus on the floater, and that's a difficult floater with a defense in front of you. Good ball movement by the Hawks. Got a good wide open shot. Sadoransky. Sadoransky down there with four black jerseys. Not a good decision there. Letting us see if the Hawks are going to double. Sadoransky. Easy rebound for Capella. Well, Sadoransky faded away against Trey. Well, I'm glad he took his time. He recognized he was so wide open. So here come the doubles. Now it's Sadoransky out of the corner, and that's no good. Booch. Bad Young. Tipped by Vucevic. Kept alive. Short. Had to force that up at the end of the clock. Levine has some room to operate. Steps in, gets rid of it. Brown will shoot and miss. Well, they see that second guy's coming to find Levine. Zach barrels into the lane. Back to Booch. His three's in and out. Rebound, Capella. Tonight, Zach Levine scores the most points and a half by any NBA player this season. 39, Kobe White. In and out with the three. Hey, give the Hawks credit. They've survived this unbelievable barrage and trail only by four. Williams off the mark. And the rebound to Capella. 
sometimes you can shoot yourself out of rhythm if you take difficult shots early. P.J. Washington misses inside. Oh, P.J. knocks it away from Capella. Devontae. Rogier thought about it. Dances a bit. And the Hornets still. So many teams get that corner three because on a dribble penetration, that is where the help comes from. And no, more times than not, that guy is going to be open and ready to shoot the basketball. Points, rebounds, and blocks. That's hard to do. Corner three, Bridges. Look at the rebound, Rogier. Landed on top of McDaniels. That growth and saying he's just been a great addition to this ball club, and, and we're going to watch that each and every day, aren't we, guys? No, and look at, look at Capella. Extra effort on that. First, he stopped the drive. Made Bogdanovich spin and then got the rip away. Wanamaker. No whistle. Cody Martin to spin. The Miles chase Bogdanovich off that screen. Solomon Hill. Herder. Should he use the backboard? Look at Capella work. Oh, wow. The way Herter gets that shot off is because of his size. Bridges. And Capella chooses to just keep it in his pocket. Cody Zeller streaking down the floor. Bridges. Rogier brings it across the timeline. Terry was a force of nature in the third quarter. Wanamaker. Bridges. Nate McMillan taking over for Lloyd Pierce, who was let go. And March 1st on, as I mentioned, Atlanta, they've won 15 to 20 games. If Atlanta is able to come away with a victory tonight, as that shot doesn't go, bat it around, and then ultimately Clint Capella sends it through. If they get their 30th win this evening, it's going to be the most since the last time they made the postseason. OG with a rebound. He has been great in that role. Sixth player of the year as a member of the Toronto Raptors. And the shot for Flynn doesn't go. Here's Lou Will into the front court. Nathan Knight, the rookie. And that a William and Mary. Good school in the Colonial Conference. Yeah, the CAA. And a rebound for Clint Capella. OG gets around Knight, finds Flynn, open three. And it's off the side of the backboard. OG backing in, finds Flynn, now over to Hood. And Rodney Hood's jumper doesn't go. Flynn having one of those rookie nights tonight. 0 for 4 in 10 minutes. Lou Will. Shot short and batted in, and Clint Capella is going to come away with that. He went right between Watanabe and Hood too easy. Here's Hood with it, and the shot doesn't go, and Hood to a seven now from the field. Can put him off the ball as well and uh, does everything at a high level. Trent Jr. short, and the rebound for... 11 point game Trent Jr. with a three pointer of course his last stop was Indiana he was there for four seasons Malachi Flynn the three short and a rebound for Capella behind the back with a move runner doesn't go and batted in by Capella gets a rebound in the bucket. You nailed it. He does have strength, Matt. He went there strong to the bucket. Flynn corner three. Doesn't go, and Capella is able to get to it. Conversations. 
Like back in the day. Here's Lou Will's shot doesn't go. Batted out. Watanabe. Kem Birch back to Hood. Another short clock here. Watanabe. And Capella says, no, I'll take it again. That's right. <laughs> He's got Birch sends it now to Hood. 11 a point game. Hood backing in on a good win. Spins, fires over top. Shot doesn't go. And Capella with his 16th rebound. OG's got an open three. Ah, Capella, his 17th rebound in a timeout. Atlanta with 5.32 to go. Oh, boy. Bogdanovich unable to get back to back threes and Birch sends it away hustling saves it Goodwin saves it but he throws it away it's Toronto ball eight on the clock Ken Birch the three doesn't go his own rebound finds Pascal OG with the three and it doesn't go and some good looks there mm. 105 91 on the inside Flynn it doesn't go they're getting out in the break, a little bit more pace to their offense under Nate McMillan, and guys are trying to find their sweet spots. Clint Capella has been putting up incredible numbers as of late. This is Bryn Forbes for three. Trey Young missed three games, able to make his return here. Middleton not able to hit, one glass. And I tell you what, as a big fella, the reason why I knew they were good, because my job was to set a screen on them on our half of the court, meaning, you know, when they when we inbounded because they would pressure 94 feet. Giannis making his return tonight has opened up looking like the old Giannis. Capella had a foul call. Three point lead for the Bucks as we approach the halfway mark of this opening quarter holiday comes up short clint capella from trey young young among the leaders in assists with nine a game averages 25 points but they will take a look oh, yeah. at him how about brooke lopez showing us the entire arsenal new on clint capella able to put it down Giannis. That by Hill gets it inside. Middleton tried the reverse way off. This past Sunday in a win over Charlotte, Bogdanovich hit a career high eight threes. He was eight for 16 from three point range. Tucker had a thought and changed his mind. Gets it over to Middleton, played by Herter. Middleton fires one that is high and wide, and Capella comes away with it. Young played tightly by Holiday, who was uh, one of the better defenders in the NBA at the guard spot. Young not able to hit, tipped up and missed. Rebound Lopez. And credit Young. Young is, Young is trusting his teammates, even the ones not known for letting it fly behind the three-point line. Giannis not able to hit. Five minutes remaining in the third. Nice step back by Young. Kept alive by Capella who drives, and he's called for a travel. I mentioned that Mike Budenholzer earlier in the third quarter went with all five backups. Off the turnover, this is Herter for the Hawks. They whip it around. Shot by Young is off, and then put home by Capella. And trying to find Herter, throws it away, Levert intercepts. Springing the jump shot is Holiday. And Holiday is not a bashful guy. Brogdon challenging Capella and losing. Yeah, that's not a battle you're going to win. You got to finish with a lot more authority there. Trey gets a wide open layup. Well, Bob, there was nobody home on defense on that drive. And Trey recognized that. Levert pumps up a three, and Capella's there to get the rebound. Well, you get an extra day off, it really helps. Sabonis. No, Brockton's still in. Thank your pardon. He works the pick and roll with Sabonis. It Ooh. was Turner to go to the bench. Yeah. And the rebound to Clint. Can't seem to rotate over, stop the pick and rolls. 
Lavert back iron. Clint's got another one. Lou and Brogdon, former Georgia Mr. Basketball. John Collins. Boy, tipped in uh, by Capella. Capella. For Atlanta, Solo's in for J.C. Misses the corner three, but Capella reaching back to claim it and stuff it. Again, you had you had four jerseys in the paint. Four. Halfway through the second quarter, Bogdanovich. Look at Capella. Just keep that baby alive. Finds his spot and got fouled. Pass to McConnell. Out to Levert. Hangs. Misses. And that's a tough shot. Good defense there by the Hawks. Starters that began the game in there for both ball clubs. Malcolm Brogdon one hands it to Miles Turner. He had a very quiet first half in his first game back in seven. They go to him right away and he misses. Levert behind the line. Hawks just forcing him into tough offense. Outstanding as always. Six of six in this one. Hawks by ten. Turner. Likes up the three ball and that pops out. 13 points for Malcolm. Bogdanovich. And Clint just took that one away from Turner with outstanding athleticism. I want my sweats to kind of hang dry <laughs> so they don't shrink. 78-69. <laughs> Sabonis left alone. Spins out to Capella. Now how about McConnell the, out of all the big guys on the basket? He's the one to get a hand on the ball. Sumner missing. Clint Capella. Sabonis ran into Solo. Now goes to the step back off one leg. <laughs> Capella is there to retrieve it. And McConnell has 16 today. So two very good games against the Hawks off the bench. Well, with Lou Williams, you love having the ball in his hand. Another tough shot here by Holiday. You want to you want to put it in Lou hands and let him create. Lou drives, lays it off. Capella trying to guide it in, got it back, put it up. No good, kept it alive. He's amazing. Going back up again. Well, they are leaving Brogdon on the bench, aren't they? Sabonis. Nice cut. Shot no good by Holiday. Insights from Jerome and Renee all coming up. Stay with us here on Valley Sports. Second shot, no good. Capella. Who you think is the hottest? Both guys are shooting lights out. Carter against Capella drives this time. Unloads the long pass. The three ball missed. Atlanta has won eight of its last ten. Kevin Herter feeds to Collins. And the first offensive rebound for the league leader, Clint Capella. And John Collins gets in on a party and leaves a wide open shot there for Herter. Be aggressive like that consistently in this game. It's going to open up a lot more opportunities. Bacon back irons, rebound Capella. His confidence going up another notch. Anthony again left elbow. Well, you just talked him up. He, he's not bashful at all. We'll keep an eye on that New York Charlotte score as the evening progresses. Hawks in New York to meet the Knicks tomorrow night. We said at the very beginning of this game, don't look past these guys. You know, put them away when Correct. you can. And so, you know, you take a lot of pressure off yourself. Bogdanovich blocked, but there's Capella to clean it up. Cole Anthony back in. A little scoop to the hoop of the left hand by Candidate, no good. Well, good Trey, defense. No time. looks at Herter. No, tipped in. Guess who? Cole Anthony went to Archbishop Malloy High School in New York. Kenny Anderson, Kenny Smith, old high school. Good ball movement sets up Dwayne Bacon. Anthony floats it and an air ball. Oh, that's a carry. He got away with one. Yes, he did. Bacon rebounded by Capella. And Capella double double in the first half here. Trey now to Capella after a near steal. Clint goes back up and in. Trey patiently finds. Solomon Hill, not a Collins. John hasn't had many touches here in the first half. Guess who is right there? 
get the starters out some rest for tomorrow night yes. in New York because the schedule is going to be something as Okiki misses. You've got New York tomorrow night at the Garden. Yeah, they really extending their defense out above the three point line. Clint Capella couldn't got it in but gets his own rebound. They were, I would run that until they find a way to stop it. Right. Okiki, nothing Nowhere there. Nowhere to go. Capella takes it away. Bogey, what a great catch. Because you're able to give the guy the ball where he can do something with it. Bacon goes in. And Capella's there. Little top pick and roll. Capella. Just go get it, big fella. 18 and climbing. Brandon Goodwin had his career high in Orlando. 21 last season. Missed the game this year. Inside the foul line for Hampton and Capella. Randall didn't shoot the ball well last night, but as usual, he did so many things to help the Knicks win. Young misses, fight for the rebound, Capella battling. Randall's been so good at spotting the double teams, it's, it's a fact of life for him now. Turns, shoots, that shot won't go, and the rebound, Capella. Elliott goes to Capella, throws it a little too high, but Capella catches, can't finish, but tips it in. He's the number one offensive rebounder in the game at almost five offensive boards per game. Peyton gets into the paint, finds Barrett. Barrett loves these corner threes. Misses that one, however. Noel keeps it alive. Barrett gets the rebound, gets inside, layup, no good. Well, Bullock's got nine points. When Reggie Bullock scores in double figures, the Knicks are 20 and six. As Randall turns, shot won't go. Capella already with five rebounds. Trying to deny Williams this time. Williams scoots inside, misses. Rebound tipped, still loose. Collins now comes up short and top and good. Tough rebound in traffic. Kelly got a huge ovation from the, the crowd. They are, this crowd is fired up. Yeah. Yeah, only 2,000 there allowed. Bullock can't connect. Capella with his seventh board. The Knicks are 10 for 15 from three-point range. No, they, they, they made 18 threes last night. Randall cross-court to Bullock, back to Randall. Fakes Capella up on him, shot clock at four. Randall holding, now Bullock gets it, has to do a quick three. Shot won't go, Capella the rebound. It's a huge game right now coming in. The Hawks in fourth, the Knicks just a half game back in fifth. Tip won't go from Noel after Peyton's miss, and here comes Trey Young. Collins open again. Young drives down a lane, flips it up, shot misses. Clint Capella, the best offensive rebounder in the NBA this season, tips it in. Making characters come to life and creating content for people to enjoy. Christine is still auditioning, working on projects, running her business, and encouraging young people who are trying to find their way. Against one of the formidable centers in the NBA this season. Well, had those that remember the back to back blocks in the route of Detroit as Randall misses. Randall gets it back out to Peyton. Peyton hesitates, now goes up and under. Too strong off the glass. Capella, another rebound. They approach the midway point here in the third. Our defense doing a good job swarming to the ball. Peyton misses the three, and Capella grabs his 15th rebound. And they're leaving Peyton open in the corner. Now he dribbles, gets inside, flips it up, misses oh. the layup. Point blank range wouldn't go down. Capella, 19 and 16 tonight. Well, those he's doing those numbers on a regular basis. Julius Randle, tough shot. Capella, another rebound. Lou Williams playing point. Williams had his best season last year in terms of assists. His bank shot no good there, but another oh. offensive rebound from Clint Capella. His 18th board of the game. Rose. Providing the impetus along with IQ. Rose back to Randall. Randall for three. Noel tips it, but right to Capella. Bogdanovich, Chase drives, gets inside, throws it back up top. Herder, little fake, three pointer, in and out, rebound. Oh, Nerlens Noel tipped it in. They'll credit Capella with it. Quickly step back, three pointer. Capella with his 21st rebound. It's the fifth time this season he's had 20 rebounds or more. Herter to Goodwin. Back up top, Herter. Long three-pointer. Well short, but Capella the rebound throws it back up. 
you know, it was it was so disappointing for this organization. He went down with that injury, but since he's come back and gotten his rhythm, he has been terrific. What a great compliment to Trey Young. That was a great job of that rub screen. He curled it right into the lane, able to hit that runner defense unable to. Interior denial by Lopez. Is that Bucks defense that has been so vaunted over the last couple of years? Middleton a little not necessarily trying to score this back to the basket as well. So couple that with not having the rhythm and they can create some challenges for Capella. I mentioned Portis, PJ Tucker, who's not available tonight. Jeff Teague, Greg, I know you love some of that playoff experience that those guys have brought to the mix. Now they have on this roster. And you know, Greg, as you as you look at that those standings, you know, the thing that jumped out at me. And Atlanta, number five, a half game behind the mix. Bogdanovich from the elbow, not that time. Look at Capella. Snatches the offensive board, turned back by Yannis. More of an organizer, like you like to say, at the point guard position. So Nick McMillan going with a more conventional point guard as opposed to having Bogdanovich. Getting a triple for Lopez. Their lead is 11. Good one into the corner. Here's Bogdanovich. Three pointer, no. Offensive rebound, Capella. Quinn Capella, number one rebounder in the league. Also, top offensive rebounder entering play tonight. This is Middleton, three-pointer too much to get back. Still no timetable for his return. As Holiday works it into the corner, this is DiVincenzo from deep. And, and Greg, one thing McMillan told us. Look out, Gallo secures it. Whips oh. it to Herder. DiVincenzo left him, went for the steal, didn't get it, and that exposed him, but the Bucks recover. Offensive rebound, though, for the Hawks. And you mentioned the Miami Heat, the year that they had last year, the run for the playoffs. This is going to be a tough Atlanta team to deal with in the playoffs. Sensational in the fourth. And that might do it right there, partner. That was the one that probably sealed the deal here. Sadiq Bay lines it up. Shot is short. Good one on the run for the Hawks. Right to the rim. Lays it up no. Capella dropped the rebound. Bogdanovich got his defender on his back, missed from the paint. Capella follows it up, got it swatted. Sadiq Bay inside for Mason Plumley. Got some room from Capella. Backs in. Here's the hook from in front. Uh-uh. Rebound Capella. Uh, Capella did a nice job of forcing against the shot clock. 9-8 Atlanta. Wayne Ellington's three won't go through. Capella with another rebound. He has five already. All right, that was just a little taste of our interview. You can actually watch the entire interview right now on all of our social media platforms, but I really enjoyed sitting down with her, guys. Uh, she's going to crush it in the WNBA. Frank Jackson gives it up to Hamadou Diallo. Diallo to the baseline. Shot is going to be short. Solomon Hill catches up with a pass. Gallinari with a long three off the rim. Capella with the rebound. Trying to go back to the basket, swatted by Isaiah Stewart. Killian Hayes against Chris Dunn, screen from Stewart. Killian batted away by Dunn. Herder to the basket, lays it up, lays it in. Right wing, point guard Corey Joseph. Did the right thing. He did the right thing. Solomon Hill from the lane. Shot won't fall, Capella with a follow, no. Plumley pulls that defensive board down. Jeremy Grant down the lane, trying to pull his way to the basket. Off it goes to Wayne Ellington. Air mails a three. Corey Joseph open for three. In and out. Capella boards it. So if you're the Pistons, you got to get a body on people and block out a little further away from the hoop. They have eight second chance points. That missed by Jeremy Grant comes off to the Hawks. Bogdanovich. Lobs it inside. Capella able to score on the second try. I knew that's where he wanted to go. He did not want the three-point shot. Here's Hamadou with the drive. Shot's going to be wide. That first time, looked for the post up from Ben. Wasn't there. And looked around and started moving the ball in bodies. 
his third year in the NBA from Florida Gulf Coast. Good hustle by Capella taking it. Kind of curious as to how and why they let Nate go from Indiana. Oh, Indiana. You and everybody else in the NBA. We got another guy from the Georgia area out of high school, Dwight Howard. Clint Capella, a very good shot blocker, eight on the floor for the first time. The 12-year veteran, Danilo Gallinari. He's always been a very good scorer. There he gets into the act with the putback. These teams that know what they're talking about. Hill weaving all the way to this young. As mentioned earlier, 14th in the NBA in scoring, averaging a team high of over 25 a game. Sixers in transition, like to take those quick threes. Danny with a good look, just unable to knock it down. Embiid helping out, the lob for Capella. And the Hawks coming up with a steal. Snell working it, and Embiid back to defend Capella. Snell again, in and out. And Capella, several opportunities, smothering Trey Young. Simmons has company. It's Harris, and good defense on the play by Solomon Hill to stop Tobias Harris. Young back in the lineup, but Snell, too, a guy who can be a streaky shooter but can get it going. Propel himself to the basket. Simmons, who had an excellent first half, setting up Curry. That was for two. The Hawks have never won a title since they moved to Atlanta in 1968. There have been plenty of years where we thought that they could, especially with one human highlight film. Here are the Sixers now, after trailing by as many as 13 in the first quarter, assuming command once again. Keep your hands up. You will be rewarded. Curry for three. But the Atlanta Hawks out of the timeout. Clint Capella, not once but twice. He's got soft hands. And Doncic, a triple double machine to boot. No, no question about it. In terms of the distance, he shot that right from the hash mark. Chris Paul of the Phoenix Suns. You mentioned that they're. Fortunate ride with the waves, uh, the lack of waves of injuries. The more zone from the Hawks. Curry trying to bust it. That was for two. Marking a deep three. That's not a good shot. I mean, first of all, it was deep and it was rushed. The call is made 44 40 Chicago. Williams off the bounce this time. We well, have a lot of confidence in this young guy. Kind of going away from Trey Young. Valentine matched with Bogdanovich. Little ball fake, turn around, hooks it oh. up and nearly put it down. Oh. Kobe White. You thought about it. Capella there to get the rebound. Cristiano Felicio out as well. Collins, no. Rebound Capella. The best offensive rebounder in the NBA. Well, Clint he looked, Capella. He, he looked like he stepped out of bounds. Bogey moves in. Hooks. Misses. Tip. No. Capella takes charge on an eighth and jams it. No. Capella's starting to heat up on the glass. And just to amplify the point that Mike was making and you've made tonight, Nick, we thought coming into the arena, for the game as Valentine misses. What a break. No Nick Vucevic. Well, the Hawks didn't utilize. Uh, it, it's been a well executed quarter for the Hawks, but the Hawks have shown so much more energy and so much more movement on the offensive end. Well, and look at Capella change that shot. Over the top to Williams. Off the young screen. And like you said, the ball movement and the willingness to move without the basketball has gotten the Hawks this 10 point lead. Mm -hmm. And again, the defense has been stellar. They are pushing the Bulls into taking. That is used his dribble. Not Garrett Temple backs out to fire a three and miss it. Uh, you're going to get open shots against 
the Blazers. Lillard gives it up. Nurkic. He misses the three and a flat footed board for Clint Capella. Right. On the handoff to Lillard. Cantor is checked into the game in the middle for Portland. Hawks come back to tie it. Here's Norman Powell launching a three. These guys, man, I tell you what. They well, they're going to put it up. Conscience. CJ. Flips it up and off. Rebound to South to uh, Clint Capella. It has thrived with the three point shot lately. Simons controls the baseline, brings it back out. Two point attempt for Simons is no good, so he's 0 for 4. On four. Gets around him, kicks it out. CJ McCollum with one on the shot clock. Goes up, missed it, missed it again, did Cantor on the follow. And that's because of Clint Capella, where he can stop and pop, he's going to break Golinari's record. Portland ball and a Norman Powell jump shot. Again, for another four shot. Covington. Wild shot off the top of the glass, taken down by Capella. It's going to be solo to guard Carmelo. Then the only Tipped. guy. And Capella's got it. And balance scoring, just beautiful balance scoring by the Hawks. Nasir Little, the former North Carolina Tar Heel, the hottest three-point shooter in the Eastern Conference. Now an open look and a push shot for Trey, kept alive and tipped in by Capella. Trey, Trey got to give it up quick. A little sooner, yep. Skip pass to Bogdanovich from the foul line. Capella the offensive rebound. Bridges. And Capella the rebound. A rare miss for the Suns here. Back to back. Miscues here by the Hawks as Paul comes up and fires. In and out. Well, he's missed his last four in a row. Cam Johnson. I mean, the, the, he, he helped the Hawks there. He's settling for a jump he's, shot. He's, Four points a game. He's got six. Trey, wrap around. Clint gathers. All kinds of hands. A block by Aiton. That's he needed some help. Tony Snell. On the drive. Rolls it off. Capella gets rid of it. Devin Booker was in middle school the last time the Phoenix Suns made the playoffs. He splits the pair. Four point Hawk lead. Absolutely. Capella didn't bring it down. John decisive taking that shot. CP3 rolls it off the rim. John Collins jumps from in the paint just to distract Craig from taking and making the three point shot. And it worked. Capella follows it in. Was an assistant to Lloyd Pierce when they made the coaching change. They went to the veteran head coach and he's done quite well in Atlanta. As Capella kicks it right off his foot. I was going to say get beaten, but you don't allow people, someone to get around you. Getting inside, McDermott, it's saved right to Sabonis by Capella. And Brissett lines up a three, but missed it. I was going to say get beaten, but you don't allow people, someone to get around you. Getting inside, McDermott, it's saved right to Sabonis by Capella. And Brissett lines up a three, but missed it. And now Levert on the run. Brissett, too strong. Defensively, where they need to be, and the Pacers have scored twice on baseline out of bounds plays. Collins catch and shoot. Capella tried to tip it. Bataze there. Lavert has come back in. Smart play. That's right, he missed it, but if he turned back to the inside, he wasn't going to even get the shot off. I like the pressure on the Pacers' defense. Good challenge here by Sabonis now inside. Capella missed it, but his own rebound. Bataze stays out there in the big lineup. And Levert left it short. There was nowhere to go, and he was unsure as to whether to shoot it, Chris. Aaron Holiday inside. Levert. TJ McConnell for three. And now Atlanta can take its first lead since the first quarter. He's creating opportunities for himself later on in the game by assisting other guys. Capella up and off, but gets his own miss. 
hustled around Alex Len to stick it back in. He hit first. He didn't let the, allow the defender to hit him and knock him off his path. Yeah, he to, hit first to get to that jump. Hook. Yes, to create that the space that he needs to get a nice, easy jump hook. Capella, one of the best shot blockers in the NBA. Hachimura again from 14, back rims it, and Capella with another rebound. Kevin Herter shoots it at just under 37% from three-point land. Westbrook attacking, and it's in and out for him. Westbrook has it blocked. Capella, and you could see Alex Land a more concerted effort to box out Capella the last couple possessions. Westbrook's pull up, no good. There's the seventh rebound for Capella. Bogdanovich pokes it away. Young out to Bogdanovich for three. And Capella's got the rebound over Matthews. Westbrook out there to open up the second quarter. Back to Lopez. Lopez short. Westbrook tipped it. Capella's got it. <laughs> Westbrook wants a clear out. Westbrook, he was saying and one, didn't get the call. Capella with a second block. Herder underneath. Capella misses the lefty stuff and now gets fouled by Gafford. That'll be the second against Gafford. Yeah, I like that. In the corner, Herder to tie it up. Capella the offensive rebound. And Capella makes it a one point game for the Wizards here in this third quarter. They open up with their starting lineup. Neto, turnarounds in the paint. After the break, you saw what he did, the damage in that first half against the Wizards. Westbrook to Hachimura for three. And Capella has his 14th rebound. And Capella has his 14th rebound. Bogdan Bogdanovich has now scored at least 10 points in a career-high 21 straight games. We're back in and figuring that situation out, and that's why the Atlanta Hawks are success. Len misses it with the left. He was right at the rim. Hutchison to the reverse, gets it blocked again by Collins. Is Smith. It's a 15 to 2 Atlanta run. And it was help as soon as he crossed over the defender and was able to pull up in traffic. Hunter left wide open. It's long, and that's the 18th rebound for Capella. Now Bertans on Young. The spin move, too strong. Hutchison tips it. Capella's got it, though. Lopez off the glass, no, and the rebound for Capella, his 21st. Westbrook, Hachimura into the body of Herder, was looking for the foul. There was no whistle. That's a four-point Atlanta. Everyone who has shot free throws so far has hit one, missed one. Alex Len started opening night for the Hawks last season. <laughs> a little more physical edge to this one than at the outset than we saw on Monday night. He, he, he had a tremendous career. Tough, such a tough player. Westbrook misses. He's always been as a player, as a coach, he's always been the adult in the room, Mark. Just uh, the times in which Oscar Robinson was able to do what he did. It wasn't easy. He was a trailblazer and set the path. We get young. He's, I mean, he's he's still only 22. And uh, he's become a special offensive player. Neto, long distance three. Capella with his fifth rebound. Finish at the rim. Pressures on the great talent on the perimeter to make plays for him. Westbrook misses. For a while, Capella could do that on beautiful passes from James Harden, and now he's getting it passes from Trey Young. You know, consistent. Even early on when they were healthy, they were inconsistent, and Russell Westbrook wasn't playing his best basketball. They have bought in. And been a different basketball team since then. Here's Russell Westbrook. Sees some room, goes inside, can't finish, and Capella with a rebound. You're Scott Brooks and the Wizards. You got to be satisfied with this lead, a little under five to go in this ball game. I'm Trey Young. I'm thinking score. The way that they're defending the high screen and roll, he can get to his spot. 
Off pass to Capella with the offensive rebound. Big time shot, tough shot, but big time shot. And those are the type of shots that he's more than capable of taking and making. Bertans, the quick release, short rebound. Capella, his 11th rebound of the game. Cole Anthony playing it back out to Carter, playing with glasses. He was poked in the eye in a game at Memphis in the end of April. John Collins with the rebound. John last night had six boards in the win over Washington, scored 18. Catch and shoot for Bogey, kept alive by Capello. Got a big man on him, side steps him for three, no good. Capella kept it alive and tipped it out of bounds. Trey is getting easy shots. Harris missing, Capella with the rebound. Harris trying to skip it in there to Wendell, couldn't catch it. And Atlanta's coming quickly the other way. Bogdanovich. Way short the rebound. Capella missed the attempt and it's taken by Anthony. Collins up top. Here is Kevin Herter who's checked into the game for Solomon Hill. Capella easy does it on that one. Yes. Let's got five. Slotting to the left. Missing is Gary Harris. Trey keeps the dribble alive. Rifles it to Gallinari for three. Capella, another rebound. That's it nine. Comes, it comes to Trey. Former Alabama standout, 35-29. Hampton with a scoop to the hoop. <laughs> or the skillet, as they call it. <laughs> Here he goes. Off the glass, and Clint Capella has rebound number 12. 44-34. Anthony. Goes across to Hampton, lets it fly, gets his own miss. Back up on Bogdanovich, tip to the corner, and Clint claims it. Cole Anthony kicks to the corner, Carter Jr., no. Rebound number 14 for Mr. Capella. Well, it's a tough situation, man, when you get rid of so many good players in one year, and you rely on all these young guys to kind of pick up the pace, and it becomes more of a developmental stage for these young guys. Had a career year in field goal percentage points and three-point shooting and going to be critical here early for the Hawks. We know how good Hunter has been at that end of the floor. Here is Young, a little bit short, and a rebound by Barrett, who has been a force on the glass. Three-pointer from Bullock. And a little bit too much. L and a rebound by Atlanta, but keeping Randall off the offensive glass. Yeah, and also not allowing him those unabated attacks at the rim. Who has been just a perfect fit for Nate McMillan and the Hawks. Yeah, and it's easier said than done because of the ability to attack by Trey Young. What a big win for the Bucks in that opener, and Portland in Denver trying to take a stranglehold lead in that series as they play on the road in Denver. What a big win for the Bucks in that opener and Portland in Denver trying to take a stranglehold lead in that series as they play on the road in Denver. A couple early, couldn't knock him down, but realized I can get to the rim and he's been very successful here early on. Here is Hunter, spot up three, back rim no, fight for the rebound, it's Capella, powers up and look at that play, what a play by Noel. Peyton gets it back on the wing, now to Randall. Knicks have not led since early in the game. Randall off balance. Glass, no. Fight for the rebound. It's corralled by Capella. That's far a great job by them of being engaged. Beautiful drop step by Barrett outside. Bullock's three, no. He's been off so far. And the rebound controlled by Capella. Good start for Lou Williams as he has suddenly given Atlanta now some scoring off the bench. Nine points, corner three from Toppin won't go. 12 points. And Atlanta's going to need a whole lot more where that came from. Off balance, little floater won't go for Burks. And that's the thing. It's about time and score. You got a four point lead. You've struggled, but your team's in a position to win the game as he misses that free throw. He missed those eight games at the end of April with uh, his personal bout with COVID. Then the ankle injury. Well, right, right. Randall's tied up inside Noel. Comes up short, rebound Capella. 
But a nice assist from Trey Young picks up his first dime of the game. Well, he had a big time three point shot late in the fourth quarter in game one. Wrote a terrific piece in the Players' Tribune as well. Taking on the burden as the number one player. Puts up a prayer here looking for a foul. Can't get it. Nothing. Silencer. Yes. This is the way we heard it at the end of the game in game one is Barrett. Trying to get them back on their feet. Cannot. Capella with a rebound. DeAndre Hunter's had the hot hand early. Knocked down a couple of threes. A forceful take to the basket as well. Gallinari fires one from three-point range. Too strong. Capella the board. Capella goes. He can't finish it. Quickly. The quick release. Oh, the crowd oh, was waiting for ready that. To the, crowd, the crowd was waiting to explode. Four-point game. Knicks with the ball. Rose working with Toppin and Jimmy again. It's the Knicks bench. And Toppin goes denied by Bogdanovich. Late in the clock. It's another block shot for Atlanta. Derrick Rose, 14 points. He's made all six of his free throws. He's made half of his field goal attempts. A number of them coming in at the lane on drives. Now Randall going to work on Gallinari. Shuts him off. Barrett for three. No. Yeah, now but not the Randall. spacing there, though, B.A., not the space. That ball should have been reversed to the opposite side for an open shot. Ooh, Randall dribbles himself free, cannot hit the three. You know, you know what? I like that Knicks defense right there, kind of forcing Trey Young a little bit closer to the sideline. See Randall pull up for a three. He missed. Valuable minutes for Obi Toppin, the rookie. Here's Bullock for three. No. Capella flying high up and over. Toppin for the board. Bogdanovich with 18. Just four here in the second half. Randall on the take. And Randall goes strong, can't finish. Collins there with those five fouls. Ends up in the hands of Capella. And misses that 15 footer. Back comes Randall. They've shown him a lot of bodies. They didn't that time. Start it, right? You've got to guard him in one yep. on one situations. He can get to the mid range easily. Young missing the floater. Collins missed the tip. Young missing the floater. Collins missed the tip. And back comes Derrick Rose. They got a three on two. Kicks it to the three for Barrett. And Barrett has been a much better three point shooter this year, but missed on that one. He sort of stopped short after he came down. Well, Doris, if he is. So just gutting it out and gritting through here. Topping with a dribble handoff to Burks. Burks, a mid range assassin that time. The last third of the season off the young miss, Randall with a bust out dribble. Burks from deep. A little bit too strong, and Capella controls. That's Steph and Dame, two of the great shooters in league history. Trey Young climbing up that rank. Here's Barrett, still trying to find his offensive rhythm from deep. Collins for three. Capella with the tip. And the Hawks up by six. Guarded by Gallinari. Tough contested two. And another miss. Randall now one of nine. He was one for nine. It's going south. And uh, Cassidy has a little bit more on Randall as that rattles out. Yeah, with that kind of touch and shot. Rose, a little get back at the other end, left it short. Capella with a big time board. Rose over to Randall, goes quickly against Collins. Gibson missing from close, rebounded by Capella. I started to say, Trey Young tonight. Randall was out early here this afternoon with assistant coach Kenny Payne. 90 minutes before tip, getting up a lot of reps and still trying to find his jumper now 0 for 2. Trey Young on the season. Shot 35% from downtown. Barrett forcing the issue. The operative word there being force. Nate McMillan has done in transforming this Atlanta team is getting them to take care of the basketball much better. Capella on the offensive glass. Maybe the best offensive rebounder in the league. Randall isolated against Hunter. A little fade away from the baseline. No good. Boy, 22 years old, Mark, and absolutely no fear of the stage in his first postseason. Derrick Rose has that go halfway down and out, and Capella with the rebound. Just didn't have the level of physicality at the rim that maybe a year from or two he'll have, Mark. Quickly missing the deep three, Capella with the board. 
John Collins with the corner three. Randall fades away, misfires, and rebounded by Trey. And I thought the Knicks defense, in addition to this guy and Derrick Rose, have given them a chance. You know, RJ still not knocking down shots at a high of high rate. Rose drives, cut off. Randall seeing two bodies, fires it anyway, and rebounded by Capella. Doris New York using Bullock against Trey, scoops it off glass, no good. Capella keeping it alive, but Bullock comes up with it. And today it feels like more than that. Bullock wide open with the long two as Young hit the court and corralled by Burks. Burks changes gears, blows by Herter, missed the layup though. Good patience once he put two feet in the lane. Like, let the bodies clear and then make your move. Obi Toppin missed everything. They've outscored New York 44 to 25 in the second half. Quickly, with the floater inside, Capella with the board. Not able to hit. And the question is the Nick bench when Rose is in that starting lineup. Capella comes away with a rebound, hits on the hook. Being aggressive at the offensive end, Capella controlling both ends of the floor. How about Capella with 15 points a game during the regular season, 15 rebounds. Again, the Knicks not able to knock it down. So a 10-5 lead for the Hawks. Rose not able to hit. He has half that total here in the first quarter, Marv. Bogdanovich from Young. Way off, and it's put down. Clint Capella. How about the Hawks? 14-2 edge in terms of points in the paint. Here's Rose wide open. Oh, with the contact, absolutely right there. Just a little bit of contact on that drive there by Young. Quickly on the drive. Evening, Reggie Bullock. And these Knicks fans should be used to a guy named Reggie knocking down threes oh, in this building. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm not surprised <laughs> here. High off glass. Coming up on one minute to play. First half. Bullock. This time short. Shot by Young is off. Back tap by Donovan. Started a moan as he dribbled back the other way. Now Randall does shoot. Just did beat the 24 and the save by Capella. Barrett chased by Bogdanovich. Here's Toppin. Barrett 12 points, three of 10 from the field. On Young. And we see all the cutting left and right as Young takes it himself. Try to bank it home. Kept alive. Little reverse. And then put home by Collins. Julius Randle, most improved player. Coach Thibodeau was in the running for Coach of the Year, one of the top three candidates. And they brought the energy back. Over to Curry. He's guarded by Bogdanovich. Embiid isolated on the wing. They load up and help. And they have been 24 times. So you know that you have got to guard him in the paint and try not to foul him. Tobias Harris couldn't get the layup to go, and Bogdanovich. Nate McMillan has really imbued him with confidence. Starting oh, yeah. to run a lot more plays and things with him as the primary ball handler, even, Nate yep. says, at times. Off the miss, Capella with the rebound. Young, after the free throws, makes it 60-36. to 36. Curry missing inside, Capella with a rebound. Trey Young up court, guarded by Simmons, and there's the trap. Yep. Finds the pocket pass to Capella. Missed it twice. Get your team a little energized. Curry for three. Couldn't get the roll. Capella with the board out to Trey Young. Coverage begins with NBA countdown at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Don't forget, folks, coming right after, after this game, it'll be game seven between the Clippers and the Mavericks. Here's Embiid at the elbow, hands it off to Harris. Maxey tried the straight line drive, and Capella got a piece of that. 
to make if you come again hard on that first pass they'll make the second pass Bogdanovich couldn't get it to go Capella the game's top offensive rebounder missed the putback please do not foul a jump shooter behind the three-point line Capella with the board and that should do it there it the is. Atlanta Hawks are gonna ride into Philadelphia and give it the thumbs up and take game one you know the Hawks want to play fast that's one area that Nate McMillan since he has taken over he has encouraged it's not been that way for Nate McMillan throughout his coaching career but close captioning for the playoffs on TNT is presented by Google Capella offensive rebound top rebounder in the NBA Bogdanovich will fire again and this time it's Harris who clears Philadelphia scored 41 points in the fourth quarter in game one their rally came up short as the Hawks win it 66 almost 68 percent compared to just 20 one for five for the Sixers now that 11 2 score is the run in the quarter Capella with the board been an MVP been a champion competing in his first NBA playoffs Harris just backs down Herter misses it Capella the rebound but that's extreme amount of confidence of what Shake Milton has built up the equity over the course of this season for Doc to put him in the game at a critical juncture in the third quarter. Young and Embiid there defending. Capella had it for a moment, taken away by Hill. Simmons with seven assists and misses the free throw. George Hill took a shot from his teammate. Milton, come on, man, he's feeling it right now. That was a heat check. In five games, they won 13 in a row at home, 19 and 2 at home under Nate McMillan since he took over. Step back three, off target for Trey Young. Capella there with the other way there, three top scorers from getting their points and also eliminated almost for them the three the three point makes. Here's Simmons, they back way off of him. Nice. Simmons now in the paint, can't score though, and rebounded by Capella. There's no doubt he's had, shot such a high percentage during the year, and you must stop him because he's in his field. He has a feel for the shot. But when he once he made that curl, and if you're not going to contest him on the curl, then the floater is there. Curry no good on the three. Now that was Thibault from the rear, almost with a block. Thibault is noted for his defense, and also the fact that he can he can move and help your head court defense. You can't foul him and say he's going to miss the shot. Although he did miss that. And there he is. Yep. <laughs> they did change the foul, by the way, from Capella to Tony Snell. So shot over 60% during the regular season at the strike. Goes 0 for 2. He was really working on that. Nice pass by Young and Herter comes up short. Capella doesn't tip it in, and it's rebounded by Embiid. One of the two All-NBA defensive teams, Matisse Thibel, could as well. Embiid, turnaround jumper won't fall, and Capella, a first missed field goal of the half for the 76ers. Capella on the other end, Embiid, we talked about his defense, he comes up with a nice play, but it's kept alive in Herter. Oh, you're right, and Gallinari, that, that was really... Uh, Cork Mosno rebounded by Capella. Atlanta shooting under 30% from the field in the quarter. Bogdanovich gets a good look, can't knock it down. And Capella with the offensive board. And then also to pick up the spirit here right now. But it, it must happen defensively. Rebound by Capella off the hill, miss. Taking 10 shots, third most on the team. Second free throw won't go. First miss for Milton of the playoffs at the foul line. Trey Young with the ball in his hand. Driving, gets to the bucket, scoop shot. No, there's Capella though with the follow dunk. 15 point game, five and a half to go. Maybe a chance to put this series away in five. Well, more importantly, the mindset that you won the game after two disappointing losses is also fuel. So what you get in scoring maybe from court pass, you lose a little bit of that experience in defense by not having green. Tobias Harris bullies his way in, but he can't get that one to go. He's missed four field goal attempts. He's missed two free throws now. And there goes Corkmaz. Capella with a rebound. Capella had a terrific year. Double-double machine this year for Atlanta. He's drawn the 
tough burden with Embiid, who pulls a mid-range jumper. Capella with a rebound. Well, back in the day, the post player, you would always double-team if he was that dominant. But you didn't have all the three-point shooting. It's a different challenge in today's game, B.A. Here's Bogdanovich. Comes up short. Capella, offensive rebound. And he just smiled. I could see the smile through the mask. And he pointed <laughs> and said, hey, Steph, he's over there. He's going to play. So basically, we know nothing about what happened in the back. But he's obviously playing. He recorded his third playoff triple-double in the clincher against Washington in Game 5 in Round 1. Two of the top four teams in the league in free-throw attempts, the Hawks and the Sixers. Late clock here, Embiid, tough shot. Capella with the rebound. Embiid, left open, passes it up. Now he's on his way. And Capella with it. Curry's had the hot hand. Embiid passes up a three, now takes a tough three, missed everything. Five and a half to go. Philadelphia's just one foul thus far in the fourth. Here is Capella with a board. Young at the controls with Simmons on him. Get some space. Young can't hit it. Capella comes away with a loose ball on the board. Embiid finds Curry. Ball movement. Here's Fort Moss. Looking for a foul, not there. Capella clears. Simmons gets by Collins, lost the handle. They're able to recover. Now he'll set up Tobias Harris. Three-pointer, no good. Had no impact on Joel's move to the basket. Collins springs three, tough shot there. be defending. Capella offensive board, and Korkmaz saves it. In that category, they only turned it over four times as well. Here's Korkmaz, springs free, miss a layup. Capella the rebound. Gallinari comes out of the pack. In the first quarter, confidence opens up. That time, no hesitation. Let it go. Herder. And denied by Harris. There's Capella. Nice finish by Capella with a foul. Bro, I was in awe. It was like he was floating on air when he walked in. <laughs> nice. Still get awestruck around Dr. J. Adrian Dillon said, we got to go miss or make on the defensive end. We got to take it out of the net and go fast. Korkmaz misses. That's Capella with the rebound. He led the NBA in rebounding this year. $5,000 in prizes. This was a 22-point Philadelphia lead at the half. Young gets a step. Finds his man. Gallinari passed it up. And now Collins missed it. Young. With a rebound, Lou Williams, sidestep, three-pointer, no good. The Sixers dodge one there, now Capella with a foul. Because Philadelphia advances quickly. Harris very aggressive early on, he's 0 for 2, and no offensive rebounding for Philadelphia. Yeah, they got to get him going. So he get out of there, wants to isolate against Capella. Well, he loves that left side of the floor. Shot clock down to three. Hill's got to put it up with two. Get to the basket. Missed the layup. And tipped out to Bogdanovich. Midway through the second quarter here in Atlanta. Game six. Philly try to force a game seven. Trailing by five. And beat in the paint. No. Knocked around again. Controlled by Capella. They're going to call Simmons for his third personal foul. Philadelphia can take the lead here with two and a half to go in the first half of game six. Trailing the series 3-2. Harris drives, couldn't get it to drop. Rebounded by Capella. Young facing the double behind the back. Here's Collins. No good on the three. They're two for ten. Capella offensive rebound. Oh, back nice. by Herter. Sneaking in there to bank it home. Eight points, six rebounds, and a handful of turnovers, as we mentioned. Tobias Harris with 12 points. Very good for mid-range, but not that time. Another empty trip in transition. Harris Curry lets it fly. Not that time. Long rebound. Capella boarded by Embiid. Quickly to Simmons. Here's Korkmaz gets away from Gallinari. The three spins out. Rebounded by Capella. No second chance opportunity there for Philly. Well, he's two for four. Trey Young. Not that time. Off the back rim. Gets it out though. Gallinari. He'll try a three. Around and out, another offensive rebound, and now a foul is called on Harris. Shot clock at seven. Collision between Capella and Curry. Maxi on the drive. It's off the front iron. Rebounded by Capella. 16 points. Playoff career high after playing just one minute in game five. Trey Young down the court missed the shot. Capella with the throwdown. Now they'll press full court. 
Simmons. With Gallinari on him, spins, and cannot get it to go. Well, I like it, though. I mean, I like the move, and Doc's obviously putting... Embiid celebrating his first Father's Day as a father. His son, Arthur, named after his, his late brother. Such a weapon, and a counter to a weapon. Sixers have done a pretty good job on Young in that regard tonight. Embiid, a flurry of moves inside, short. Saves it to Embiid. And looking inside to Simmons with Collins on him. With a right-handed turnaround jump hook, no good. Young for three. It's the deck. Simmons out hustles Capella. Up top, Harris. Harris with a reverse, missed it. And Thibault secures it to Shake Milton. Milton for three. Thibault to follow, not there. It's Capella. Middleton spinning on Herder. Slips it inside. Giannis backs Capella, throws it back out for Holiday. Rebound Capella, who led the NBA. Scoring, they need his shooting. Late under 20 minutes in both games five and six because of those knee issues. A player as well as a coach. And P.J. Tucker's been in the league double-digit years, and they've just got their numbers, high school numbers retired. I mean, what's going on at this high school? And what strikes me is that Nate McCullough is concerned early. And we heard his uh, conversation with Stephanie Reddy before. And he... Holiday for three. Capella with the rebound. Holiday putting moves on Collins. Sends to the corner. P.J. Tucker with a crossover to the rim, but came up short on a reverse. Of Atlanta's last 20 points. Connaughton fires for three. Final minute, first half. One-handed by Collins. Here comes Bogdanovich. He has heard it wide open. Fires. Rims out, but Capella with the rebound. Rims out, but Capella with the rebound. Capella off the double. The stop by Lopez. Stop by Giannis. Yeah, but I like that shot there by Bogey. He's much more active offensively here in the second half. Giannis accelerated, put the speed on, but came up short. And I think a lot of people have fallen asleep on the, what he did in Game 7 for Atlanta in Philadelphia. And then Game 7, Holiday backs it up for three. Rebound, chased out by Capella. I don't know how much longer you can wait to bring Trey Young back into this ballgame. Lead pass for Giannis. Looked like Capella got a piece of it. Giannis directed traffic. Here's Forbes for three. Capella with the rebound. He died. That matches his career high for a playoff game. Middleton for three. Rebound comes to Capella. Young with a deep three. Rebound Collins. Solomon Hill with the shot. If Giannis gets the basketball, I would really seriously think about fouling him. 45 seconds to go. Middleton in and out. And back comes Young. 40 seconds to go. And here's the problem. He can't beat Drew Holiday one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Young challenging Giannis. Spins out. Rebound Capella and scores. This helps them defensively because of the injury to Bogey, but it'll hurt them offensively because Hill's not the shooter Bogey is. Here is Giannis coming up short. Middleton coming off a poor shooting night gets it over to Holiday. The jumper by Holiday is off. One-handed by Giannis, lays it up. And Capella comes away with it. Even when he's not playing his best basketball, and how does he get that throughout the end of the game? He told me he never gives up on himself or his teammates. They continue to trust in him. And they're up big and it doesn't matter, but it matters if they are to move on and play in the final. Jonas cannot take those shots. Wedgie time. During the course of your career, I'm sure you've had situations where your team has been blown out. But what are you thinking when you're in this, in this scenario as Tucker comes up short? Chris Middleton gets a, 
a three to go, his second of the evening. I just like how Holiday has been picking them up full court. Win over the crowd. Portis tonight, three of six in the field, seven points, three rebounds, lots of hustle. 8.30 Eastern time to get it going, preceded by the studio show. Here's Portis on a spin, comes up short. And shooting 56% in the playoffs. They're up to 12 as he misses both. Capella for the rebound. But it's speeding him up. Bogdanovich. Got the pass beautifully to Collins. At all, has he expressed any concerns to you about it? No, he's in a good place uh, health-wise. He's ready to go. Okay, thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. All right, second quarter underway. Giannis now just one of five from the field. Bogdanovich is rejected. Capello not able to hit. 22 points, seven assists. How long now does Nate keep him over there with those four fouls? Well, Gallinari comes back in. Holiday tried that scoop finger roll. Holiday putting moves on Bogdanovich. Holiday comes up short. Rebound to Pella, who have shot seven of nine in the third. Young four for five. Giannis on the move with a reverse that does not fall. Adepti Kupo now with 22 points. Nine rebound. Here's Young flipping it. Capella kept it alive. Capella called for the travel. Hawks have actually lost three of their last four playoff games here at home. They've been a good road team. Collins fires one up. Kept alive by Capella, and he is fouled. A 15-5 lead for the Hawks. Holiday fires. Capella with the rebound. Middleton. Sends out to Portis, a deep three. Rebounded by Capella. That three-point attack was off by Tucker. How aggressive has Atlanta been at the point of contact defensively? Collins for three. 15 points for Clint Capella. Portis. Pass down the three. Missed the two. Williams played by Portis. Good defense by the Bucks. Collins three on the shot clock. Capella. And he was fouled. Pushed by Tucker. This is the way Lopez played in game two, which was a victory for the Bucks after they lost game one. Here's Bogdanovich kicking it to the corner. Just did beat the shot clock, and Capella keeps it alive. Stripped by Lopez. Cam Reddish has provided a defensive whiff. This is only his third game in the playoffs. Here's Williams for the fadeaway that the Capella attempt was way off. We saw this intensity from the Bucks and their defense in game two. And it's amazing how Lopez can disrupt everything. Really makes it uncomfortable. And the Bucks in the bonus the rest of this quarter. Capella with the rebound. Two points and the paint difference for the series tonight, plus 22 for the Bucks. Capella rebound. Pelican try to steal it. His last five shots and four from three point range. Portis. Williams around Connaughton. Fires it out. They hurt him. This shot over the backboard and then slapped back down. Bogdanovich looking for three-point territory. Hits it. Had a strong game five with seven three-pointers. Seven for 16. Portis fires away. Rebounded by Capella. Here's Herter. Played by Lopez. Sets it up for Capella. Capella with the tip. It's a 10-3 run by Atlanta. Here's Young again, beating his man, but could not finish. Capella off 
on a couple of tip opportunities. Shot clock down to five. Herder for three. The Pelagos and scores. Portis for three. He's got all for this first half. Led 7 0, 15 4, led by as many as 11. Atlanta ball as we get underway. Second half, a runner by Trey Young. The pillar puts it home. In this series, as great as both players are, Collins is off. Capella able to get to it. Here's Capella again. Out of bounds and saved by Holiday. That's what happened in, in, in game five. And Young not able to hit. Capella puts it in the hands of Reddish. Goes into a crowd. There were three bucks in his pants.